getting dicey. <laughs> map come up for everyone it's if you can't see it, you might need to scroll down because it'll be black if yeah you're i'm right down right down yeah, the bottom i, I can, can see, see my it. token but i just can't see the map um i'm, I'm blind um, as a bat i can't see loris actually yeah where, where have you I put can me see <laughs> some of us on the map i can only see now. me he's outside uh, of space it's all time. black if i step outside i can see uh, you guys right yeah there he is uh, where are you where are you dave Oh, he was underneath. He was underneath that. Um, I think it's because oh, I, I, what I'll do is I'll, I'll give you some night vision for this scene there, Dave. Because <laughs> That's because it's dark. I can't it's because see it's, there's no lights. But realistically, <laughs> it's, it's all been lit up. Hey, there I am. I can see. Uh, you. <laughs> and there's the Baron. We'll give you some night vision for this scene as well. Um, there you go. You should, you should be able to see now. Can you oh, see? Yeah. yeah. Good now. Thank you. Again. Um, so I did say that the place was had a lot of people chatting and drinking so let's get the sound all going there guys it's been like cool. three weeks you're gonna have to give me a little bit of a break anyway um yeah so the rest of you outside bill you've opened up the doors and sort of moved in and there's just people at most of the tables um maybe a few people at each table each of them drinking and laughing and chatting uh, and across the room uh there's a big smile from a dark-haired woman who's who's beckoning you over all these uh, patrons look very attractive, <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to walk up to the bar. Um, welcome to the Blue Water Inn. Uh, what, what can I get you? Um, an, uh, a, an ale, please. Um, oh, you've come to the wrong place for an ale. We only do uh, wine here. Um, two of the family wines, basically. Uh, we've got... Uh, the purple grape mash, number three. And we've got mm -hmm. the uh, pint of the, the superior red, it's a, one of our superior wines, the red dragon crush. The red dragon crush? I'll go for that. That sounds lovely, thank you. And she turns her back and walks over to the barrel and she just gives it a, a knock. There's one of the barrels and she gives it a knock and it's it returns um, like it's all, a sound like it's getting close to being empty. Um, and she, she pulls out a glass and she fills it up and returns over to the counter. Um, um oh yeah sorry and also can i just grab uh another one two three four five six for my friends as well who are about to come in but <laughs> maybe we'll give them maybe we'll give them from the other barrel i noticed that one was a little bit low um <laughs> he's uh, cheaping out on us uh, unfortunately they all of our barrels are getting a bit low actually i'm not sure what's happened to our supply uh it's been a bit late, which is a bit strange, but um, so how many do you think we, we'll need? Uh, another six, please. Another six, okay. And she, she pulls out some glasses and she goes to uh, the same barrel that uh, you asked Wait, for. Wait, is that right? <laughs> I don't know. And, it, is, and, it is now. Yes, it is right. <laughs> There's also, Sorry, you've, also, you've also got two kids that um, Irina is currently looking at. They're not them. having any wine. No. <laughs> they might need some after um, their ordeal. And so yes, yeah, so she gets she gets busy working p to pouring these um these these glasses. Uh, Have you got any um anything suitable for children, drinks wise? Uh, she looks over her shoulder and says, uh, "I can get some water for the for the youngins if they, if they like." Uh, yes, please, and and food food for us. Uh, yes, yeah, certainly. Are, are you after um a room for the night? Or? Uh, yeah, we'll probably need a few rooms. Oh, and. F just sorry special request just on the food i know it wasn't specific but just no pies <laughs> no pies yep no pies okay we can make that we that's fine that's absolutely thank fine. you so you, you, we've got we've got eight beds spare uh tonight is that is that gonna work for you um the kids can top and tail i'm sure it'll be fine okay okay <laughs> uh yeah so she turns around and continues uh just pouring the glasses what are the rest of you up to at this point Oh, Let's start with a go ahead. Start, start with Morley. Morley, what are you up to? Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna walk in sort of behind Bill and survey the, the scene. Yeah, Ismark is kind of quickly like following close behind you. He sees that you're heading in and, and starts following you. And um and you can just see Ismark just like having a quick a quick look around and just spots a door off in the distance. Uh, and just makes a beeline for the 
<laughs> yeah. God. Um, Can't hang on for more than like a half an hour. To be fair, it's been like a day. It's been. A oh, day. he didn't go at the windmill, did he? No, no, no he didn't, didn't get a chance to. <laughs> so you All do right, notice we'll that he opened that. up the door, and as he opened up the door at the, on the farther, like the northern wall, you just see like you can see outside out there. He's just gone. He's gone outside, oh, yeah. but out a different, out a different door. Uh, Morley, you are surrounded by just that thrum of the of the room at this moment uh, as well. Uh, and and uh, from across the um, counter, you can hear, uh, I'll be with, we, uh, with you in a minute, um, from the lady in the, at the bar. Um, I'll, I'll just go over and grab a table. Okay, cool. There seems to be like two tables free in the middle of this room at this point. I'll go to that one. Okay, cool. Um, American, uh, start with you. What are you up to? American is protectively hovering around... Irina and the children mm -hmm. and uh, escorts them inside with a watchful eye. Okay, great. Um, and Irina is is basically very protective of these kids at the moment and has the the young girl under one of her arms and the young boy is is sort of walking next to you with his hand on your, your cape, just kind of following close behind you, American. Um, and both of you enter. Uh, there are a couple of just uh, coats in this little foyer area that you spot as well. Um, little dark coats that must belong to some of the patrons in this room. Um, and you spot um, Bill and Morley at this table, uh, just uh, off to the right fair. of the entrance. I'll, I'll join them, yes. Cool, and Irina uh, takes a seat next to it as well. Um, Loris, what are you up to? Um... Yeah, so Loris is just, well, I mean, he's kind of been hanging back a bit just as we enter into the, he's going to walk in quietly and not really say a lot because, you know, he's been a bit of a dick um, and he's kind of knows it. Um, so he's going to walk in, stand by the door, sees the group at the at the table and he's just going to position himself um, in the chair beside Bill and almost um, just rest his arm on the other chair. So it kind of looks like he's saving the chair. And my intention nice. is for when Ismark um, comes back that he wants Ismark to sit at that chair there. Okay, okay, that sounds good. So it's just kind of, yeah, got his arm over the chair, but still quite solemnly just you know, holding can you, the chair. Can you just give me a, a perception check? This is for just as you enter the room. Uh, sure, perception check, perception. Oh, where'd it go? Oh, there. <clears throat> uh, perception check rolled a 13. Okay, cool. You notice, like, one or two of the people, like, stop talking when they see just you enter this room. Uh, and they, they're kind of a little <clears> shocked <throat> at the, the size of you and, and just the look of you. Um, and a couple of them sort of, like, just get back to talking and another one uh, is just kind of just keeping an eye on not just you, but he's noticed where you've, you're sitting and he's just keeping an eye over your table at this point. And a, and a few seconds pass before he sort of turns back to his friend at the table and continues chatting. Um, Baron, how about yourself? Um, I'm going to follow the others, but I noticed that there's these ravens. There's yes. four of them, right? Two yeah. um, on either side of me as I walk in. Yeah, so when they're I'm quite high in. up. They're, uh, the, the, this building is about... Um, there's the ground floor and then there's uh, a, a top floor as well. Yeah. Um, oh. and, they're, and they're on the roof on that top floor, looking down, hanging over that um, entryway. I see. So there's uh, more, okay, like pigeons. Yeah. Around. yeah. When I walk in, I just want to see if they're following me with their eyes or if they're just acting like typical pigeon type birds yeah, so they're, you, not, they're ravens yeah uh, give me a perception check what the fuck do I do there <laughs> um, I mean if we have time off it's like two weeks where, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I normally use my dice thing but um, true perception here we go it's a plus zero okay what do I get um, an eight yeah, um, I think with an eight, you notice they are, they're keeping an eye, like, I don't know if keeping an eye on you is the right word, but they're watching you as you, uh, and you notice they've kind of watched all of you as uh, you've entered into this place. Oh, well, I don't trust them, but I don't want to know what to do. I'm just going to sort of 
quicken my pace and step go up the stairs and into the <laughs> yeah. into the uh, cafe. Okay, great. Into the cafe. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and you, you enter and you two you've seen these um these sort of dark coats hanging up in this <clears> entryway, <throat> uh, and you see your group of um, friends sitting at the table in the middle of this room. They've all sort of just made their way there. Some of them sitting down as you enter in. Um, and there's just like a, a healthy selection of just people, just uh, humans. Um, I see what Bill meant by saying that they're all attractive. Okay, so the tokens the are just generic tokens. They're not all like quintuplets <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> I didn't get it before, but uh, now I got it. Yeah. It's canon now, though. They're, they're <laughs> all... This is a very Let's attractive with clientele. Yeah. <laughs> but at least Bill thinks so. <laughs> okay so there are men and women they're not just all women by the way okay, okay. so right. don't don't just keep an eye on the tokens that's not how they look uh, right. and a judge. <laughs> yeah. um you, you guys all sit down um for a moment Sorry. and isma the door opens up and um isma sort of walks and he's just shaking his leg as he sort of walks in um and oh, makes his leg. wow <laughs> What? Like, and he, how old man does he need to be? Come on. Is that a thing? He's just shaking it off his leg. It's just, oh. Is there toilet paper stuck to it? I, I don't know. Uh, toilet it, paper pee. God. It's yeah. Fucking, he, this guy's he a mess. looks at the table uh, and he sees that the really the only sort of spot next, uh, uh, available spot at the table is next to Loris. And he's, he kind of just pulls the chair out. with it. He just drags it across the floor a little bit. Um, and sits on it and just sort of sits back. Um, uh, you know, just a little, keeps his distance from the table. Not from you, Loris, but he's just sitting back a little bit. Um, and at that same time, the the, um, uh, <clears throat> the lady behind the bar makes her way out with just a hands full of these, these glasses of wine. Um, and uh, she places them down in front of everybody. So you ordered six, was it, um, Bill? Uh, six more. Six more, so seven total. Okay. Seven total, yeah. Just trying to, yeah. None for me. None for me. I'm a recovered alcoholic. I, you seem to have oh. forgotten that. I, I did forget that. Sorry. <laughs> um, <laughs> this, is, no this is awkward. Uh, um, Baron? Do you I want... just... Yeah, I'll have two. <laughs> <laughs> I was uh, about to push it towards Loris, thinking the big guy would be the one to get two, and then I, I guess Baron just like snatched it. <laughs> Like, yeah. oh, okay. oh, okay. The non recovered alcoholic. <laughs> yeah. He's on a different part of his journey. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so she, she places them all out in, in front of you all. Um, so, which one did you um, order? The Red Dragon Crush, right? I that had was... the Red Dragon Crush, and everybody else has got the other one. Okay. okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> uh, I'm just going to do some real cruiser. quick maths here. So, yeah, she, she puts it out and she, she says. Um, It'll be um, it'll be two uh, silver pieces for that, uh, and with the a bed and food for the rest of you, um, we'll just it'll be just another silver piece on on top for for all of you to stay, and I can sort out keys and uh, you know for the for the rooms later. Uh, and she places them all and, and slides that second glass in front of Baron, um, and just the the sound in the room just stops. The she's frozen with her hand on the table pushing this glass in front of you and all of you are just frozen in place and there is uh just a shimmering off to the side and you just oh, see no. this familiar tabaxi just <laughs> lithely slide out uh of this shimmering um God damn it, needle. room needle. <laughs> oh look where we are this time we're in a bit of a tavern are we and he picks up <laughs> one of the glasses that's in front of the baron and just throws it back just pours it back <laughs> and right. places that glass back on the table oh this was the cheap one. Oh, i'm not a fan of this one but let's see what <laughs> fate has in store for you today um and with a, a flick of his hand this wheel uh, appears now i'm going to do it so you guys can't see it this time and it is from the non-combat wheel so that wheel spins and spins and spins and spins um oh and it lands on a familiar uh, familiar sign and he, he says, oh, no fair. You guys have seen this already. Oh, well, I guess I'm. this is just sh sh bad news for me, I guess. And, uh, great news for you. Magical weapons for all 24 hours. You know the deal. Bye. And he just walks into this <laughs> oh, portal. Uh, I love time. how we get magical weapons when we're not in a battle scene. <laughs> Thanks, dude. <laughs> 
time <laughs> kicks back in, the noise of the bar erupts, and Baron, you're looking down at like this empty glass and a full glass, and the mm. uh, the, the bartender doesn't really notice. She's just she just stands back up and and so and says, "So that'll be three silver pieces." Um, in that, in that intervening by. time, I mm. had reached into my pouch, pulled out five silver, and have it like immediately over her hand. And as soon as it opens, yeah, I'm just like dropping it in, and she's just like, it gets the impression that I'm uber fast. Right, you, you are, <laughs> you're frozen during that time, but I just like that you're enthusiastic. Oh, we're frozen as well. Every everybody, everyone oh, is frozen. Oh, okay. We're frozen. Yeah. I thought we. Oh, sorry, I thought we could move. No, you guys are completely frozen in time, just like everybody else. You can't affect anything while needle is in motion. Oh, but can our eyeballs move? Yeah, in you that can, like, case, track I normally reach for eyes. my coin and place it in her hand. <laughs> I don't like saying no to things, but... Nothing have, out of the cool. ordinary occurs. Yeah, except you guys all know that you've seen Needle. Um, and and you, you inspect, like, the, the weapons at your site, and they're all got that familiar glow again. And you know that, like, they lasted about a 24, um, 24 hours last time. Um, anyway, she takes mm. the, she takes the um, silver pieces from you, and she says... Um, well, I hope you're not here to drink too much because the uh, the other barrel, uh, you just kind of emptied out one of the barrels and there's only um, one barrel of what you're drinking now and uh, maybe a half a barrel of what you've got there uh, pointing to your spell. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of us until our new stock arrives. Well, when does that arrive? That is a good question. We were expecting it days ago and it hasn't arrived. You're not here. Um, like an emergency. You're getting it from a windmill by any chance, are you? <laughs> no, no. My husband's um, my husband's father makes the wine. Uh, it's um, sort of out of town. Uh, a barrel at a time. No, no. They they make plenty. They they they've got a winery, uh, an amazing winery. They manufacture the wine for us. In fact, they manufacture the wine for the majority of Barovia. Um, oh, all right. Wines. Sell them past the clothes now, love. Okay. Well, thank you. <laughs> and she. <laughs> Um, she just nods. She nods, uh, and she um, takes Hold the coins. On. Hold on, this sounds can, bad. Can I grab grab her arm lightly as she's about to turn and leave? Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, so you've had some supply issues. Are you sure they're all right? Mm, uh, we've never had um, a delivery not show up, so this is definitely out of the norm. Do you have any way of communicating with them? We've seen some horrible things out there. Uh, yes and, and no, my husband isn't really on speaking terms with his father, um, and we just kind of, when the, the barrels show up, we buy them, it's more like a they supply and we pay kind of thing instead of us putting in an order. Oh. We just would have expected it by now. Like milk bottles, <laughs> they arrive, you've already put your 40 cents outside on your, yeah. on your doorstep. This is, this is troubling. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, I hope I hope they're okay, but well, we'll keep an eye out. Where do you say they're they're located? Um, they're just sort of south of Kresk. The Kresk. Oh, Kresk. We we may be heading that way. Mm. Re really? And she, you've 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 piqued her interest now. Um. Uh. She, well, I don't want to interrupt you now, but when you have. A moment, please, please come and talk to me. Oh, yes, we okay. shall. I think we should ask her about Kretsk. That priest said it may be a very good safe haven for you, Irina. Um, Kre Kresk? I've forgotten their voice. Kresk, you say? Uh, well, I don't, I don't really know much about it other than they have uh, an abbey. Um, and, I, and that sounds, that sounds pretty safe. But there's a church here, I believe, in, in Velaki as well. We'll look into it. Yeah, and uh, Irina mm -hmm. just kind of nods. Molly. Uh, I want to kind of lean towards the Baron and just sort of whisper in, did not we get some information about some the bottom of the barrel or last of the summer wine or something of that sort? Madame Eva, she mentioned. Oh. Hey, yeah, you're right. Um, something about a the best wine, but it's empty. The like fine empty wine that was empty or something. Right. I'm sure of it. Hey, American, you wrote that down. What, what does it say? 
Ah, yes. Fortunes and what's not. History, the history card, the merchant. Seek a cask that once contained the finest wine of which not a drop remains. What could that mean? This expensive one. One of them was really cheap. <laughs> and, mm. like, hey, hey, this hey, one was the nobody... cheap one. This one was the cheap one. <laughs> <laughs> Which I one think... do we? We'll get the cheap one from Bill. And he's got the nice one. I... Bill! Nobody, nobody, nobody knows how, which one was cheap and which one was expensive. One was called Dragon Crush. I didn't know about how adventurous your palettes were. I went for that one. I, I went for that you. one. Okay, we'll Also, swap. the other one sounded okay. That's what needed um, was the I'm just going to try this one. And I'm just going to try this one and see if uh, see what you think. See what I think. <laughs> have a little have a little sip give me a uh, <laughs> give me just a d20 just just a d is it a constitution maybe no not constitution it's not gonna get you drunk off a sip so just a d20 let's see how you how much you like it Kill <laughs> i mean that's a 19 oh i mean bill like swirls his wine in his glass <laughs> smells the bouquet takes a sip um i mean wine is such a subjective thing it's uh <laughs> it's a, it's about your palate there's no such thing as a good wine or a bad wine there's only wine you like and you wine you don't like uh, this <laughs> wine this wine i like yeah we'll try this one <laughs> and baron just slides slides his glass <laughs> in front of bill i pick his up <laughs> Roll a d20. Give me a d20. For tasting the bad Actually, wine. no, no. Give me a d12. Oh, that's the move. Okay. It's, that's what? how good or bad it is. Um, oh, it's a five. It's yeah. less good. <laughs> <laughs> it's still drink. It's still drinkable. Eminently drinkable. <laughs> I don't want a wine that's called drinkable. I want yeah. the good one. Also, can I, can I roll for cheese? I want to at least try and pair a good cheese with this wine. <laughs> I mean, Is there yes, like a cheese haven't, board available? We haven't had a, a cheese roll for quite some time, so give us a roll for cheese, uh, American. <laughs> All right. This might salvage the wine. I've rolled a 10. Um, I think with a roll of 10, you've spotted like a little cheese platter mm. on one of the other tables, and it actually looks all right. It actually looks all right. <laughs> It doesn't look amazing, but, but it I didn't get to eat good. any. I mean, you can <laughs> definitely try I, and take I some. definitely am not going to start trouble in this, in this <laughs> yeah, tavern probably, by stealing cheese. That's probably Raging a good idea. I did um, ask, also ask for food. Is she also bringing yeah. cheese? Yeah. Is cheese one of those things? Yeah, I hadn't forgotten that one. <laughs> okay. Do we have a number I, on our table? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I had forgotten that one. No, she comes back with... Um, um, it's just that we were here before them... <laughs> I, I feel and like we've been, there's, a, there's okay. seven of us. Yeah. yeah, she comes back with, I, I wouldn't call it like an amazing feast or, or anything like that. Like this is, you've paid sort of like for room and food. And there's there's like some, a, a pot of boiled vegetables that she places like right in the middle of the table. And she places a plate in front of everybody. And on that plate has just a few cuttings of meat. Uh, and then she comes back onto the table and just puts this little pitcher of gravy on the on the table next to the next to the vegetables. A picture of gravy or a, a picture. picture. Just a, she drew a picture <laughs> of behind the bar. She had it in her beard. Okay. Um, Very yeah, good. So, no. Yeah, so drew a little yeah. picture of that and put the picture on the table. Um, and she's like uh, and she just says, uh, yeah, enjoy. Enjoy. Uh, just before you go, uh, could I get some more of that really fancy wine? Your best finest wine, please, madame. Uh, yes, it's it's uh, it's one silver piece. I can bring you back another one. And she yeah, she looks she looks at the two empty glasses in front of you already. She's like, <laughs> yep. Um, that was Morley. Okay. Hey, <laughs> what? No. Um, Loris, Loris. I just want to um, chuck a gold piece on the table and look at her and say, just bring the barrel. Just bring the barrel. Just, yeah. just bring the barrel. We'll, 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 we'll take the rest of the of the good wine. Um, if you don't mind, Laura. she sees she sees that that gold piece uh, that you've placed down, mm. um, and she says, "There's only there's only about half a barrel. I'd feel bad." That's if, fine. 
that's okay, fine. For okay. your trouble. And she just announced she she announces to the room um, that there there'll be no more uh, red dragon crush um, <laughs> being served tonight, and uh, and she doesn't know when they'll be serving it again. Um, <laughs> yeah, and there's there is <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of like, there's a couple of booze from the table, but thank they, you. I'll be here all night. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can share it around. We could become the heroes of the tavern, shall we? Just like offer oh, everyone yeah. in the tavern free drinks oh my god we'll be in like flint they'll love us oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, right, ladies. Cool. and she and she just says uh, <laughs> uh I, I i how about um i just keep the the drinks coming uh, i i don't my husband's busy we're not gonna be able to bring the barrel it's a big barrel and it's a small room but i will keep the drinks coming <laughs> the, re the rest how of the is this barrel uh, <laughs> bigger than the room yeah you look you look behind the counter and there is just like a, a huge barrel like there's three big barrels behind this counter um yeah. and they look to be maybe like three to four maybe four foot in diameter so these are some big barrels um mm. and she says that, don't, don't, don't worry I'll, I'll i'll bring i'll keep the drinks coming that's she, she takes that gold mm. piece and she turns around and she just kind of like tries to bend it <laughs> and she says, it's okay okay so, and she puts it in a little pouch and walks back um but yes for the rest of the night the drinks will be flowing uh and um ismark uh picks up his his wine and and, and just drinks that in in one in one go um and he loves it he this is one of his favorite wines he's like i don't know about you guys but this this i don't know what you mean it's not good bill this is one of my favorite wines this is one of the best one of the best in barovia uh, i said less good less good <laughs> and oh, wait subjective. we bought the cask cask of the bad wine no no, no he, he already had one you, you, oh you he already had one yes yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah he's got a he's got a like a unsophisticated palate is what i've yeah. learned here i mean okay. a man who knows what he's likes <laughs> <laughs> yeah yes well i'm sure we're all exhausted after our horrifying day mm. yeah <clears throat> mm. um, but you have got yeah. me intrigued about this this prophecy about a cask what could it mean is the it doesn't even you? say what that cask is leads to or what is relevant about this there was there was something right I, don't, I i need to take a look because you may not have written down the whole details for it because there was definitely something about that card um mm. did, did you write down what sort of card it was just to make it easier for me it to said the history it was a history card called the merchant uh the merchant the merchant mm. i need to find that for you oh here we go and seek a cask of fine wine uh i'm trying i need to see no i like the one we just bought she did say well, something it's half full though or is it half empty half empty which, well we're um, gonna drink no, it which, yeah. which card was this because there were there were five cards mm -hmm. one two three it was four. on the left it was it's so called the the, this the history section uh east of four east four of coins the merchant seek a cask that contained the finest of wine and it was morley's card who who what? drew the first card is that yeah. right yeah Morley, you drew the first card okay so this was um yeah so that she said that the card tells of history knowledge of the ancient will help you better understand your enemy and then she gave you that card uh the merchant which says, seek a cask that once contained the finest wine of which not a drop remains. So there's something to do with a cask, which is going to give you knowledge of the ancient. Yeah, it says like mm -hmm. that not a drop remains. So it might not be this one, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> if we completely empty it, maybe it counts. <laughs> is this maybe. just an excuse for you to drink the night away, Brian? I don't think so. I think this is Madame <laughs> Ava's idea. Madame Ava made you yeah. do it. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Um, all right uh, um, and and with that you um she returns to the table and, and takes some of those empty glasses and replaces them with full uh glasses of wine um and she just says and uh what brings you all to the lucky hmm. how mm. secret is this um <laughs> I'll, I'll shoot a i'll shoot a look at ismark and just like give him like a motion like Passa? Oh, oh uh, yes. Uh, just safe passage for my for my darling sister here. We're just bringing her somewhere safe. Um, oh, somewhere somewhere safe. Is, is something that you're you're 
do you need do you need somewhere permanent to stay she she sort of aims that towards Irina um, and Irina says uh, I just need to avoid Strad and she gets halfway through saying Strad before Dan, Dan, uh, this, the, um, the bartender's eyes like widen and she goes shush, shush, shush and you see a couple of people look towards the table hearing just the starting of the word and, it cut, and Irina is just cut short um, and she says uh, you mean the devil you, you, you need to avoid you need to get away from the devil we can't we can't and she just looks around and sort of makes sure everyone is looking away says we can't we can't use his name here uh, if you're caught saying his name you will be locked up it's a it is you are, it is banned from saying the devil's name here why uh why is that does, uh, does that does that give this uh demon some sort of power or uh the burgomaster of Velaki just just can't stand uh the devil we, mm. the burgomaster has a, a lot of rules in place um in in regards to the devil mm. More like understandable so. mark mm. seems like the burgomaster here is quite strict <laughs> 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 Yes. Oh, yeah, maybe it's, maybe it'd be worthwhile, um, maybe I should go meet him and, and see if I can pick his brain, uh, about, tips. about the, uh, things that I could do to improve Barovia. And, and mm. the bartender just goes, ah, uh, yeah, um, improve, yes. <laughs> uh, and she just kind of, like, clears, she just clears her throat after saying that, and she said it, she's, brought her voice down a little bit mm. when she said that as well. Um, and Irina pipes up and says, so is there somewhere safe here from from the devil? Um, and Danica says, the church? You you want to go see Father Lucian at the church. There, there, there's Strad and his minions haven't been able to get inside that church. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> and she's arrested. No. Um, <laughs> Uh, Sorry. What? Broke her own role immediately. Broke straight away. Uh, <laughs> no, the, de the devil uh, and his minions haven't uh, been able to get inside this uh, church for years. For years, you would be ab you would absolutely oh. be safe there. Have they wanted to get in there? Uh, they've they've made the odd attack on the lucky, um, mm -hmm. and they have been near the church, but they've never been to, able to get inside. Isn't it true that he has to be invited in? Uh, I'm, I'm not 100% sure, but the Father Lucian says that he has something that keeps him and his kind out. And, and like I said, there hasn't been an attack inside that church for years. Hmm. Okay, well that sounds promising. What do you, what do you guys think? Uh, Lucian, you say? Uh, Father Lucian, yes. Father Lucian, um, tell me, do you, um, what do you know of this abbey to the north? Uh, you're talking of, of Kresk? Kresk, yes. Um, I haven't heard much. Uh, they haven't really been letting people in and out for quite some time. Um, but I mean, there's mm. a, there's a big, uh, abbey there, uh, in Kresk, and I'm sure if, if, for any reason, this, uh, the church, <coughs> Father Lucian's church isn't to your standards, you're welcome, I assume, to go and, and, and see uh, the abbot uh, uh, about his abbey. We had um, some advice from uh, a priest that perhaps, uh, although Velaki was certain, certainly more uh, secure than where we came from, perhaps the, the abbey would even... Be, be even more secure. And Ismark um, just pops up, pipes up with, um, yeah, 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 we've got some, we've got some work to do. Sure, sure, yeah. yeah. I mean, our church <laughs> definitely isn't as safe. That's there's barely a church now, actually. Mm -hmm. mm, sorry about that. Don't, don't take it too hard. <laughs> Safer than what it was. Are we like sort of like kind of touching them? Like, 
oh, Barovia's good. Like, it's good. <laughs> like, really patronizingly, like, oh, no, it's not that bad. <laughs> uh, I think at this point as well, the kids are getting a little, um, a little bored and a little, and they're feeling quite safe, and they're just starting to sort of run around a little bit in this I'm getting tavern. happy meals. God, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, who brought the kids? Oh, this is an adult establishment. Everyone's trying to get drunk here. <laughs> what what time is it? Uh, it's Good quite time. late at this at this. <laughs> yeah, it's probably like t- I think it was around ten thirty or eleven thirty by the time you guys showed up. But that does that does bring me to the question of what are we going to do with these children? We thought we'd decided that we were going to set up a bit of a fund for them, and they could be raised by the the local clergy maybe maybe we can talk to uh this father lucian and see if uh if he's happy to look after them for a while or uh i could take them back uh, to barovia i can t- take them back myself are they from barovia or are they from Velaki? Uh, they f- they're from barovia they're, they were kids that uh ismark knew so ismark can you know their parents their parents that sold them for coin i know that their parents oh, cool. i know that their parents claimed them to be missing uh, but, uh, but arrested then is Mark. Well, there's going to be a lot of difficult conversations and a and a lot of there's going to be a lot of change back in Barovia when I get yeah. back. Pleased to hear it. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah very good. Uh, I don't know whether the kids are even interested in heading back. I'll have a chat to them. Um, or maybe I'll talk to the oldest and get his thoughts on it. Uh, but he did mention something about, I don't know if it's a kid thing, just hating his fucking parents. So I don't know. <laughs> oh, he's got a foul mouth on him. <laughs> uh, it must be something. Yeah. To, must be something to do with the whole being given away to old woman that uh, has really oh, got his I'd, goat. I'd say he's uh, <laughs> he's got good reason. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and um, uh, the bartender says, "By the way, my name's Danica." Uh, I'm sure Father Lucian would be happy to look after the young ones as well. Uh, well, thank you very much, Danica. Um, I might just make sure that they're up in their room. Like, it is quite late for them. They've had just a real rough day in life <laughs> uh, in general. <laughs> in life. Yeah. Um, so after they've had their fill of, of the food. The boiled vegetables, which you so kindly (laughs) supplied, and the meat. Um, I'll I'll just make sure that they, uh, yeah, they they get a good night's rest. Um, And and Irina says, Bill, uh, if you want to continue being here at the bar, I'm I'm exhausted. I'm more than happy Mm. to take the kids. Perfect. Um, I think that's a great idea. That's a great idea. In fact, if if you don't mind, I might excuse myself now and get some shut eye. Uh, I'll, I'll escort you, Irina. Uh, perhaps perhaps Molly and American would right. like to escort. Um, <laughs> I'm like, just to keep you alone, but sure. Yeah, I mean, if, if you want to, if you want to help Molly, that'd be great. Get these two youngins into bed. I'll help Baron uh, find out the mystery of this this empty wine cask. Yeah. We have Thank to get to the bottom yeah. of this bill. Danica, we'll have to get to the bottom of it first. Danica, um, sort of. Uh, feels around in a little pouch on her side and she pulls out this key and she slides it across the table to Irina and she says if you just go out the front door to the left there's some stairs that head upstairs of course and uh, at the far end of that uh, at the end of the hallway there's a door Uh, you'll find four beds in there two for the kids one for you and uh, and then there's just an extra bed there for whoever needs it Uh, and Irina takes the key and starts sort of corralling the kids um, and says Molly are are you coming? Yes, of course. Okay, great. So um, before, like, obviously Molly and um, Irina toddle off, that leaves Ismark, Baron, Merican, and Bill at the table? Uh, yes. All right, cool. Um, so just as everyone leaves, but, um, Loris is just going to sort of, you know, <clears throat> I have something I need to say. Um, I know I've, I've disappointed you all. Maybe not for, for taking the pies, but for, for trying to deceive you. I regret that, and I am sorry. I, I can't explain why I took the pies. It's it's kind of in my nature to do the unexpected. Um, in my youth, I was praised and encouraged 
to to deceive and and, and hide these unexpected behaviors um I can't guarantee I won't do something unexpected again, but I can guarantee you that I won't deceive you again. I, I ask your forgiveness. Bill, we're friends, and I trust your and your sword on the battlefield and and your wisdom of it. Burgermeister, I, I see a bond growing between us, and I see that we can you could be very useful to our quest, and I can certainly be useful to to yourself as well. I admire your talent for showing up just when you're needed, and I want to build on that. <clears throat> I'm honored to have you at my side. And then just, just going to leave it. Yeah. Um, Bill, did you want to say anything first or Ismark? Or how did you want to, did you want to respond? Um, yeah, I, I get you don't understand the, the ways of, of many of the different races, um, Laris, but, by God, those were those were children that were put into those pies, and yeah, sure, maybe there's some utility there, but my fucking children, man. Uh, and as Mark just sort of raises a hand up to Bill um, and turns to like he's, he pulls his chair in closer to the table now, um, and he says, "Loris." I understand. I, 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 I get it. If it was, if they were magical pies for any other reason, I, I, I get it. But I need you to understand that those two children that we rescued, I know them. I know their parents, and now I understand where they went when their parents said they were missing. What that means is all of those other missing kids in Barovia. You may have had people I knew in that pocket of yours. And I, I overreacted. I, I, am, I am sorry. I apologize for drawing my sword. I just need you to know that as the new Burgomaster of Barovia, this is, I need to draw the line. And that was where the line was drawn. And I... Uh, I can only do my, uh, I can only do my best and, uh, and improve my standings within Barovia. I overreacted and I, 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 I apologize as well. Um, and he holds up his drink um, and he says, without all of you right now, we wouldn't be here in Velaki and I wouldn't feel safe in the knowledge that my sister is out of, and he goes, he goes to say Strad's name, he catches himself. Uh, the, de the devil's view now. I know he said he was going to see us in three days, but how safe do you guys feel right now? I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, Laura <laughs> took the pies? And I just down my wine real quick, because this is the first I've known of it. So I'm just like, uh, I'm just going to chug this wine real quick. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Mm. And I'm remembering how delicious those pies were. <laughs> Trying not to think about what they were. Not only that, no. but where where that one took you to a yeah, you were lost yeah. in a world of like right. heaven, basically. Yeah. <clears throat> um, all right, well let's let's uh, head upstairs for a little bit. Um, let's put uh, Irina and Molly upstairs now the rest of you aren't going to see that but more if you scroll up um you can see uh, a little hallway on the balcony actually and you can look down off that balcony and see the group talking below and you can see that there's like a bit of a solemn conversation happening down there but you're not really seeing much of it and the two kids are sort of next to Irina at this point uh, and there's a, a door at the end of this hallway as mentioned and you've got the key to this room in your hand Seems like some sort of heated conversation going on down there. Not heated, but Norris probably telling his old war stories again, I imagine. Uh, I hope he's all right. I'm sure he's fine. He's a big boy. Right, kids. Time for bed. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, bed! No, I'm not going to bed. No. <laughs> said no child ever. <laughs> yeah. Um, and the, the, the little boy has, you know, sort of stops. He's like... 
but I don't want to go to bed. This sounds like there's so much fun happening down there. Oh, you'll be absolutely tired after your big day being locked up and uh, a brush with danger, I see. So get some rest <laughs> in the morning. We'll tell you all about Loris's stories. Okay, great. Uh, and you, <laughs> you make your way to the door and, and unlock it. Uh, we'll just move you into the room as well. Uh, and you can see this small room with, as as described, just four beds um, made and ready for, for use, basically. And um, the little girl... Uh, let's go of Irina's hand and um, and just sort of walks across to one of the beds um, in the middle of the room and see, and sort of just points to the other one, looks at Irina and says, you have to sleep here and sort of like points to the one next to that one. Um, and the the young boy goes, no, that's where I was going to sleep. And he just runs across the room and jumps onto the bed. Uh, and, and and so she quickly turns around and points to the other bed. She says, Irina, you've got to sleep here. Um and there's like a bit of a kerfuffle in regards to it. And she's just like, okay, cause just, yeah, I'll, I'll sleep there. It's okay. You guys just get yourselves tucked in. Um, and she starts sort of getting the, the boy um, sort of tucked into the bed and, and getting ready for bed. And the little girl is just kind of standing on top of um, this bed, just sort of like, not jumping, but just sort of like bouncing a little bit. Just looking at, looking at you, Morley. <laughs> right, now get into bed and, and get ready for a lovely old sleep in the land of nod you've got to put me in bed <laughs> <laughs> and she points oh, at, and man. she points at um irena and and her brother and says i'm gonna put him in bed right well off off we hop then if it has to be if it has to be Is she off? <laughs> she's still just standing on the bed looking at you uh, right off we hop come on now no no silly about yeah give me a persuasion <laughs> roll <laughs> <laughs> oh god <laughs> oh nice that's a, a net 20 yeah so there's like there's something in the tone and she just sort of like stops she just stops bouncing just completely and she's like all right and she just like <laughs> just flops down onto the bed um on top of the cover snoring and, she, and she's like but, you, but, but you've got to tuck me in <laughs> all right all right all right and, and like morley takes the kind of top blanket and kind of pulls it pulls it down like your wriggly worm like you know playing around with like kids like, like you do yeah and then um <laughs> and then, right. and then, <laughs> <laughs> i don't know you everyone <laughs> they do very well so right here we go here, here comes the blanket it's tucked in nice and warm and she's and the, she's just got this big smile on her face can you give me a charisma roll <laughs> oh, I'm going yeah. somewhere with this, I promise. Okay. <laughs> One would hope that you're not just role playing a bedtime story for the family. Rain's just like, I didn't get this in my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> um, 14. So 12 plus 2, 14. Yeah. So as you're tucking her into bed, she's just got this big grin on her face, and you look over just to sort of see. Um, what Irene is doing, like trying to mimic her, I guess, a little bit, just to make sure that you're looking after this kid in a similar way that she's looking. And Irene is just looking over at you, just with a big smile on her face. She's oh, oh yeah, oh hey, Molly, hey, <laughs> <laughs> and like she, she's just she's got a big kids. smile on her it's face. The and the, and the young boy in the bed just goes, Ooh. <laughs> um, now that's quite enough of that. <laughs> and we'll we'll cut back to the group um, back downstairs. Um, and um, Danica is there again, just um, replacing some of those drinks. Bill, excellent. Uh, can I just opt out of the one-on-one -on -one session with Reagan and Adam? Inevitably, could happen later. Yeah, I want no part of that. <laughs> oh dear. Hey, I'm yeah. I'm, That's for the OnlyFans account that you're starting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anyway, so IP. Danica is, is filling up these drinks, and a couple of, at this point, a couple of the um, patrons have, have sort of left now. It sounds like things are winding down um, in the tavern. Um, and, and she sort of leans into you, Murican, and says, um, So you, you want to. You, are, you, are you interested in helping us in regards to the wine? I'm going to lean in towards her and say, Yes, 
Yes, we're here to help whoever we can. Um, and she looks over at a couple of the um, people sitting uh, at the table on the eastern wall there, and she makes like this little whistle, just a little whistle, and they and they look over um, in your direction, and she just gives a little little nod to them, and sort of like a little head tilt towards you guys, and they nod back, and then they just get back to drinking, um, and sh- and she says, if you're if you're willing to go all the way to the winery. Um, just know that we will have, uh, we will have some of us looking over you, while you journey there, just for your safety. Some of you, some kind of organisation. Waitresses Union. <laughs> <laughs> so what it um, is? Look, I, I can't, I can't say too much. I, 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 I need to. If you can. If you can prove yourselves by helping us with our wine, then uh, then I'll be able to trust you with more of what what I mean. Ooh. Well, just tell me this. What do you stand for? And I want to do an insight check to see as well as, as she tells me. What does she stand for? Um, what do you stand for? And she... She leans in close. Oh, good insight, Jack. She 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 leans in close and she Great. sees some of the other patrons, not the ones that she whistled over to before, um, but she sees some some of the other patrons. Notice that she's kind of leaning in, and she stands she stands back up, and she says, "Oh, why I stand for uh, the safety of the lucky, as all of us here do. Uh, long long live uh, the burgomaster." And um, she gets a couple of cheers from a couple of of the seats um, around mm. her. But with a roll of three plus three is a six for your insight check. You don't really notice anything. I mean, it seemed a little suspicious, suspicious that she sort mm. of snapped back anyway, but you didn't see, notice anything uh, above and beyond that. Yeah. yeah. I sort of already picked up from something she said earlier that it seems that perhaps She's not that impressed with the Burgomaster and the way that this town is run for whatever reason. Mm. So I'll keep that in mind. (laughs) Bad governments. (laughs) (laughs) Real good to the Burgomaster tonight. (laughs) Okay, well. Yeah. All right. Mm. Um, I can't, yeah. Can't really discern much beyond her words. But then she looks back at you, American, and says, if you help us with the wine. Uh, then maybe we can find um, a, a time and a secure enough place to discuss all the amazing things the Burgermaster has done for us. Hmm. I see. I'm sort of nodding at the rest of the table, trying to see. They've heard all this, haven't they? Mm. Yeah, yeah, everyone at the table has heard this. Um, mm. Maybe, Maybe after you... Um, check out the church in the, in the morning you can head south of Kresk uh, and there are signs uh, south of Kresk and you'll find the winery quite, mm. quite easily okay <clears throat> well it's okay. for a good cause isn't it American <laughs> you're just thinking about the wine Brian it, it is good People wine, their wine. <laughs> what's going to happen in this town <laughs> has she told us what the name of the winery is or has she just sort of said it's south of Kresk? Um, I can give you I can absolutely give actually I've got it I've got it here, don't I? I'm ready to write it down. Um and actually she says, actually if you've got a map I could even pinpoint that for you. It's the um the Wizard of Wines Winery. Wizard of oh. Wines? How fun. Uh, it's because of the just the the ma- I mean uh, and she points to you, Bill. I mean you you've tasted their their best. The, uh, the Red Dragon Crush, how was it? It was very good. Mm-hmm. It was very they good. are wizards at what they do. Except when they're not, and <laughs> you have the, the drinkable one. And it's, you know, it's, uh, highly, dr- highly drinkable. Highly drinkable. You should, uh, you should have, you should have tasted the stuff that was around before they opened up. Ooh, yeesh. No. Um. <laughs> <clears throat> um, Ismark, here, Ismark here is a big fan of it. Mm. Uh, it's my favourite one. He says clearly. <laughs> he sounds had, drunk. He's had quite a few now, <laughs> uh, and he's holding up like 
he doesn't even he's holding up two of the same and he's just like I like the one on the left <laughs> very oh, good it's Mark oh, yeah it's Mark it's good that you have you're you're feeling relaxed as Mark it's, it's good <laughs> yeah, to yeah. see he's uh he's he's got a lot on his mind yeah. mm. don't we all in fact I've got prophecies on my mind I'm gonna say that as soon as Danica's left mm-hmm. oh yeah she's because... um she's kind of she's marked it on your map uh and as you've seen it's definitely south there's like a little um uh intersection just before you sort of make your way over to the east towards Kresk that goes south and she's put a little x next to this uh, spot mm. on the map and she's um clicked a couple of these empty glasses and head back off behind the bar mm. i'm gonna look over at loris and say you know madam ava gave us a, a reading and uh, she mentioned i don't know if you've heard of anyone called storm striker <laughs> um a thief Yeah, and this yeah. is where we're going to take our break. This is where we're going to take our break. <laughs> <laughs> five, minute, five minute break. <laughs> what a oh. what an awesome way to <laughs> take a break. To be honest, I <laughs> just the pain on Dave's like that 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 breath, He's that like... holding of his breath, like. <sighs> Uh, as yeah, I was nearly, go. It was never really resolved. Like I, one of my songs referenced Storm Striker in it. Oh yeah. really? And that yeah, was when yeah, Strad um, showed up. Oh, that's right. It was the that's haste. Right. It was the haste mm. song, and then it, we the never song. really like brought it back up. <laughs> mm. yeah. yeah. Fun, fun to bring it up just as, as he's just finished apologizing for stealing <laughs> stuff <laughs> and deceiving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's just like, but, I will yeah. never deceive again. Storm <laughs> who? I, I, so, so now I have to go find the, the page that my backstory is written on for, in preparation to tell the entire fucking story. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry we won't force you to do anything like that yeah no i just, just thought it was worth bringing up because i mean we were it was just too relevant not to yeah i mean <laughs> you've already mentioned a bit of your past so it should mm. it shouldn't be too right. hard to bring it up. anyway it's it's bit, just by the way uh we had another uh sub gifted thanks to oh, needles pointer is so close again. Is, is it already sub? Yeah, we're halfway. almost halfway for another. I might need Whoa. to adjust how regularly Needle shows up. <laughs> but, um, so Clan Duckle has given uh, another monthly sub to someone, which is awesome. And uh, Sir Brave Scott has subscribed for the fourth month in a row. So Ooh. a little dance for both of you. Oh, it just keeps leveling up. I could never do that smoothly. Oh, my God. Oh, this. I'm not even going to try. Nah. Yeah, that's a new yeah. one, everyone. Mm. <laughs> um... <laughs> Kalan, Kalan said <laughs> that he, oh, oh yeah wow. I forgot about that one you can't oh, dance yeah. while doing that one though. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think you've just proven really that statement wrong <laughs> um, Kalan Duckler sub, uh, gave a sub to the um, Getting Dicey bot so that's, yeah, that was cool <laughs> oh really? <laughs> what? Good the, yes. bot, the bot really appreciated it he just wants to give us cash that's, great. And I'm, that's amazing again the support you're giving Kalan that's is pretty just cool absolutely uh, insane so thank you so much um, Kiosti's showing up I don't know if I saw Kiosti when we uh, started up this uh, tonight but he's there maybe I did I listed a few people anyway I hope everyone's enjoying if you guys are watching I hope you're enjoying this if you're, if you're not following us <laughs> give us a follow because Ooh, they make me tingle, but not as much as a sub. <laughs> Stop. What? Stop I have it. To... Stop it. If I just went, follow You're me. making us really uncomfortable. Stop it. They... I didn't say You're all related to they body. make me tingle. Um, Gwaffa, oh. Gwaffa, great name, says, first time watching you guys. I actually did a run of these quests in DDO this weekend. DDO? Something online? What's DDO? Dungeons and Dun- Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons oh. Online. Maybe. Surely. DDM, it's got to be, right? You did a run of these quests. D&D Online. Okay, cool. Cool. Mm. Well, yeah, first time watching us. Well, I don't know. We haven't really given too many details about where we, <laughs> where in the story we, we really are. Because in Velaki, you, you we could be in the tavern multiple times after many things. So we've only, the crew has only just gotten to Velaki at this point. We've first already found in some here. intrigue. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Of the missing yeah. wine. Um, you guys l- get to the bottom of this. You guys latched onto that. Um, I, I, I wasn't even really going to bring that up tonight. Um, so that's good. I'm glad I brought that up. <laughs> I, had other, 
I didn't think we were going to be in the this tavern too much tonight. I thought it was going to be like moving on, getting sleep, and doing something. But then I realized halfway through our sort of the session was like you guys don't really have any idea where to go or what what you're doing at this point, right? No, not really. Not really. Besides, besides heading towards either the Abbey here or the Cresk yeah. Church, yeah, yeah, or wherever it was. Yeah, so that's We've cool. got some things to do now. Also, yeah, can we please talk about Morley's rom com side situation? <laughs> <laughs> it's so good. Uh, I need. I want to um, message him and sort of just figure out what his. I don't know if he wants to talk about it in front of everybody. What his, the, his <laughs> intentions are, but um, need to discuss them. Um, I just love the <laughs> idea of Reagan just continuing this oh no because if he wants hey, to what take are your it... intentions with irena <laughs> like what do you where do you think we are in the relationship I don't... <laughs> yeah i because i, feel I don't like you're want... moving too far i don't want to role play a sex scene between please don't no we already agreed that character. that's not happening yeah yeah so but i'm happy to allude to things i'm happy for that there to be, be fine. an alluded relationship but i don't want to i don't want to what what did we say we said a fade to black is fine yeah i think and that's pretty and much think... what i kind of just did with them and in that room what i what i am i am gonna ask i'm gonna message him and ask him something that could add to something my, <laughs> one of my favorite things about um the adventure zone which is a great dnd podcast is that there's always like a relationship between a couple of the characters right and the players the people who play it's three brothers and their father <laughs> so like the yeah, dm yeah. is like either the son or the brother of one of them <clears throat> <laughs> yeah so it's always awkward. so awkward <laughs> but they, i think they do a really good job of it yeah and, and you gotta you gotta treat it Consider. seriously like if, if i got all giggly and stupid while trying to do it it just wouldn't be fun for everyone like, i wanted it to be something that I was think... endearing and it's not going to be endearing if i'm just treating it uh without any kind of gravitas <laughs> yeah i think yeah. we said in session zero that we think it's fine as long as it's kind of a goof and not like some actual big serious like yeah. drawn out drama that starts you know like so it's it's fun mm. we don't mind no ross no ross i don't mind cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> like, i don't think any of the other characters would care at all if i don't know um the they did the walk of shame in the morning everyone yeah, just be like yeah yeah um, the foolish fool kind of funny. in the chat said, Morley, Mr. Steal Your Girl, eat shit, Strad. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so good. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, then, I'm like, by the way, you know you're pissing off the devil. Yeah, Gar just so you know. Um, Garman has just said, oh, shit, Morley is cuckolding, uh, cuckolding Strad. <laughs> That's Strad's mean, such a cuck. I hope that does happen. Is... <clears throat> Morley is going to rip his fucking teeth out, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he's going to do it by just whispering. Cuck, if he does so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're a cuck, Strad. Oh, dear. Signature he could have on his chair as well. He does look a little bit cuckish. <laughs> oh, man. But do you reckon that's the chair he's in when he watches? He's got his hands out like, why? Why are you doing this to me? He's like, I like the watch. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, and he's just throwing cards love. on them as they're doing it as well. He's just throwing his cards. <laughs> <laughs> Quicker! He's got, a fine, he's got a fine brandy. Just mm. the Virgin Strad versus Chad Morley. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Carman. Uh, Ch Chad Morley with his crossbow and his cool hat <clears throat> and his witch bolt and whatever it is else that he's got. Strad with his yeah, goddamn witch bolt. Weak. Where the hell does it come from? <laughs> um, I don't know if you're there, Adam, but check uh, your messages on Discord. I've just asked a question that I need you to answer at some point before we get back into it. I don't even know if you're there. I could be talking I to am, you. I okay, am cool. here, but my camera won't work for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> of course. Oh, no. You can't see what's well, you're, you're not getting a little excited about what's happening with you and Irene, are you? <laughs> he turns the camera back on and he's just shirtless and he's like, go on. <laughs> <laughs> shirtless is not the problem I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. <laughs> um, man. Okay, we just had some more bits thanks to. Uh, and is it more one? No, just earned a new 1000 bits badge. Um, random, like, Khan's coming for your badge. He's, he's, he's beating oh, you there. Getting hunted. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. Um, all right, Bill John's still away from a moment there, which is fine. So yeah, uh, take a look at the message I've sent through. Um, for everyone who's watching, uh, if you like what we're doing, feel free to give us a follow. All of our previous sessions are on YouTube and all of our previous sessions are now on um, basically any where that you get podcasts so that's cool you can catch up however you like um there's a link to our discord if you just go uh, exclamation discord uh, and you can just come to chat to us about things that you've seen us do or talk about your dnd or just we talk about anything how ghostbusters 2 isn't as bad as people say it is it's this we talk about heaps of things oh. yeah <laughs> We love hearing about other people's D and D as well. Yeah, we do. We actually like you don't think, hear you enough. You think we get tired of it, but we really don't. Yeah, it's, we, just, it's so interesting what people yeah, get up to. Yeah, we hear a little bit about um, Furry Blue Elf's uh, game, and he's not he, enough he's, though. Not enough though. I'd love to hear more from everyone. I want to hear yeah. everyone's excitement about the games that they're playing. Um, no spoilers though. No spoilers, of course. Uh, Storm King's Thunder they're playing through at the moment. They've uh, sounded like they've just finished that off. They, uh, well, they wow. got to the end of it. I don't want to spoil it for anyone who's, who might be playing it at the moment, but they got to the end of it, what's, which is great. What's the, um, sorry, so what's the policy for, say, Storm King's Thunder? Well, I don't. Is it fine to spoil that or not really? I don't know because imagine if one of our viewers is playing Storm King's Thunder right now. Right, yeah. You can use spoiler know. tags in Discord, though, right? In, in Discord, yeah. you can use spoiler tags. Oh, yeah, tags. that's a good idea. Yeah. yeah. Oh, actually, no, Miserable Miserable is in the chat, and he's uh, they're about to play it, actually, so let's <laughs> not talk about it. It's just use okay. spoiler, tags. spoiler tags. Yeah, we'll just, it just if you're going to talk about any of your stories that you might be talking about any sort of spoilery stuff, you just use spoiler tags. It's all good. Um, are we ready to get back into it? Oh, yeah, and um, anyone who... Look at that. Check out that. Merch. Merch. Uh, buy one. <laughs> They're super cool. Adam, yours showed up recently. You enjoying it? You like it? Does it feel good? Yeah. <laughs> I, I have a double set of mine ones, um, which oh, I yeah. think because um, you know, designed by humans, were really foolish and not setting up um, tracking. And so instead of telling me that they'd seen to improving it, they just sent another lot. <laughs> um, yeah, so you showed that corporation. Well, so, so <laughs> what, what, what I was are you struggling was, during coronavirus? Are you fucking send me some yeah. more? <laughs> <laughs> so, so what? I, what I was thinking is that, um, um, and I, I might sort of give one or two of them to Reagan to donate and give away because cool. I don't need mm. six shirts. So yeah, might fit. Okay, cool. when, when we, we, can talk when we bump that. into each other and do the trade of. Um, Oh yeah, we need to figure out can, when we can get your yeah. minis to you guys. Um, oh well, uh, Reese, who plays Sig, is going to be coming down in September down to Wellington, New Zealand, where we all live. Um, and I was thinking we could have like a like a dinner or a lunch or something, yeah, yeah. and get everyone together, and maybe we can get the figures to everybody. And yeah, Great that could be cool. I think that'd be awesome. Yumcha. Yes, let's do a yum yes. chat. Oh, shit, yes. Although I do think I do think Reese would eat about one percent of the menu. He's a very, <laughs> he's a very picky eater. He's very scared good. of foreign food yeah. to the extreme. He, he didn't know what brisket was, so that's that was a new one. What? To the point where he was just like, uh, I don't know if I should eat it. It's like, dude, it's beef. <laughs> yeah, wow. but it doesn't look like beef. It looks it looks like beef. They have like white we'll rice. Get them chicken wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. We can yeah, do chicken they, wings. they have a lot of like um, chicken wings, drumsticks, or <laughs> and also KFC chicken feet. feet. Yeah, I, I had I had feet. had those ones. I, had had feet those. I didn't like them very much. Yes, I, I thought they were pretty good. Yeah, yeah I like them. Yeah. The ones I had were just it just kind of didn't feel like you'd got much. You don't stuff. I it was just mainly they would just be bones. When I heard about them, yeah, I thought they'd be crispy as well, but they're just kind of soggy skin on bone. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I didn't like it very so much. Good. So good. <laughs> Adam, Gelat gelatinous skin on bone. I wouldn't bone. order yes, it. Yes, gelatinous just... skin on bone. Sorry, that's, that's way that. better. Fantastic. I think I tried some tripe once, though. It was pretty mm. good, though. You know? It, I, thought, oh, I didn't no, know what it was. All, so that helps. All, <laughs> all, all of the innards and, and done. the offal is, if cooked properly, it's fantastic. Mm. It's, it's always oh, that caveat. It's, it's all about the way it's cooked, isn't it? Yeah. Well, yeah, it's in that. Because if you boil the shit out of it, it's just going to taste like rubber. If you add a bit yeah. of flavour and it'll give it a bit of Gotta love. eat it raw. <laughs> <laughs> when, I was, when I was younger, I went to stay the night at a friend's house and his, his dad was like a dairy farmer. And um, that night we had tongue for dinner. Oh, yum. And um, oh, it, it, looked, it looked like a fucking tongue. 
<laughs> and, and, oh, and, no. um, and I didn't I felt rude and a, a bit awkward and I didn't know what to say so I said to my friend who I was staying with I was like I don't I don't think I can eat this and he just loudly went dad Adam doesn't like tongue <laughs> I totally don't like tongue <laughs> Last time you I'll not have anyone disliking <laughs> tongue in this house out you get boy <laughs> You just weekly, like, <laughs> what's that thing you'll be like? Oh, I just don't like eating food that can taste me back. Oh. <laughs> oh, gross. I didn't think of that angle. That is actually really <laughs> gross. <laughs> that is bad. Uh, uh, cool. Are we, are we ready to get back into it? All right. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Time okay. to face my demons. Oh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> the awkward silence pervades the room as I bring up Stormstroke's past. That's <laughs> beautiful, beautiful. I loved it. It was such a great place to hit on a break. That was so good. Uh, did you want to repeat the question, uh, American? Uh, just that Madam Ava gave us our readings and brought up someone called Stormstrike. Have ever heard of him? Heard he was a thief. <clears throat> yeah, um, so Loris is just gonna sort of just quietly. It's 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 a name I know. I I I, uh, I don't use it often. In fact, ever. Now, it's yeah, it's not not who I am now. Even mm. though recent history may sort of suggest otherwise. <laughs> Didn't we have a message for the Storm Striker? <clears throat> I think I wrote mm. it down. Um, you've been on the run. Um, but they were never looking for you. Your friend kept your secret. No. I, I think this is pretty massive news for Loris. That's, that's not what I believe. Um, she didn't tell you any more, did she? What was that? She didn't tell you anything else? There's no more to the detail of there's, that? There's no more. No more. Loris, this this That's... is kind of creating some, not turmoil, but your head is kind of spinning on this yeah. one. You've lived uh, however many years believing you were on the run mm. um, and being hunted by, by the law. Yeah, I, I think... I need to process that, and I, I think Loris is just going to be silent and, and, and drink whatever's left left of his wine, and he's going to look at his look at the group. He's going to look at his is his mark still quite drunk? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. He just kind of like turns his head, and he can is just kind of like lolling on his. He goes, "Storm Striker sounds like a really badass name." Storm <laughs> Striker. <laughs> 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 um, so I'm just going to look back at the group quietly, look at each other just quietly. I'm not going to say anything. I'm just going to, I need to think. And I'm just going to grab um, Ismark, chuck him over my shoulder, <laughs> and we're going to take him up to bed because he needs to sleep. Yeah. And I'm just gonna, uh, Danica sees you sort of leaving and, and quickly runs over and just hands you a small key. And um, Ismark, thank you, thank you, love. Uh, <laughs> Storm Stringer! <laughs> just hanging off your off your back um and she sort of says like up the same stairs that are outside uh and there's a door on on your immediate left up there and she points up to the balcony you can see the door up there um uh, yeah so i'm just going to take this back up and, and gently you know put him into bed and, and you know turn in for the night because i'm not in in a place where i can deal with that information right now yeah i think so both you and um ismark take the same take the same room so we'll put you both up in the same room, which is very nice. It's very romantic. Um, <laughs> so if you if you um, scroll up, you can sort of see just the room I've put you in. Um, all right, cool. Up here, as you you walked outside with his mark over your shoulder, and um, as you walked out, like one of the bar tenders, uh, one of the sort of bar patrons, sorry, just gives you one of those <laughs> kind of whistles as you carry his mark, and his mark just cracks up on hanging off your back, uh, and you head outside and you see the stairs and you walk up the stairs. The door at the top, you open it back up again, and you can look down over the, this balcony over and see your group at the table. And that one that gave you the wolf whistle just goes, Yeah, all right, mate! Just yells that up. This, <laughs> and, um, and there's a door on your left. You unlock that and go inside and just lay Ismark out on the bed. And you can see another bed 
in that room as well. Excellent. Okay, cool. Um, so now we've just got uh, Baron, Bill, and Merican sitting at the table. I was I was just sitting there uh, watching him sort of go silent and then sort of walk off, and I was just wanted to say to everyone, well. <laughs> I was actually going to say something nice to him for once. <laughs> well, there he goes. <laughs> Maybe another time. Yeah, I'd, I'd save that one for later. Um, Cheers. Cool. So is there anything else you guys wanted to discuss or, or do before uh, calling it a night as well? Um, how far through this barrel are we? Getting very close to the bottom now. Be yeah. wrong not uh, to finish it. Yeah. This point. <laughs> I'm just going to invite the patrons. Hey, uh, we really need to finish this barrel. Look down, Bill. We're just about finished. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to pour myself a couple as he's saying that. <laughs> <laughs> just hoarding it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> just My wine. Right in front of I'm just going to drink about. myself to sleep. I think then... one guy heard Bill say it, and then you shush him, and he's like, Wah! oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, do, do we have enough to share around a few patrons mm. or are we just gonna i'd say there's probably like danica gives the barrel a knock and it sounds almost completely empty as she fills up the last cup for um uh, glass for baron right false alarm yeah and there's a bit of murmuring and kind of like and hearing there's a false alarm it's like three of them just get up and leave they were kind of like <laughs> mumbling i thought they'd be buying rounds or something okay yeah nobody's gonna hang out in a bar with no drinks <laughs> yeah yeah so there's now two empty barrels of wine and one half empty barrel of wine now and that's that's all they've got left um and done sort of oh wait what so there's sorry there's three barrels three barrels two, two are empty two are empty now and the other one is only a half full which is the bad one which is the bad wine, yeah. Wow, it's the eminently drinkable wine. <laughs> it's drinkable, yeah. It's definitely it's drinkable. Be, yeah. as, as Should we finish wine. that one too, Bill? <laughs> <laughs> we may have to. <laughs> so, so we finished the good wine. Mm. Um, I want to do an investigation. I don't feel like this is probably the one that the prophecy was talking about. But it mm. is talking about a, a cask that's now empty. Okay. So the cask is still behind the bar, right? Yeah, it's behind the bar. Oh, and just right, like right. In, a, in a little alcove. Do you mind if I ask Danica if I can investigate? I know it sounds a bit weird, um, but yes, a medium told me about it. I don't know. Yeah, like, so you approach um, Danica at the bar, who's just tidying up a few of these glasses, and she's like, is everything all right? Again, it's a strange question, but do you mind if I investigate that empty cask a little? I've, I'm, a, I'm a little bit psychic, actually. And um, <laughs> I've got a medium, a friend who's a medium, and she said something about an empty cask, and I just kind of want to look at it. Sorry? Is that okay? Uh, we've, got a, we've got a few empty casks out back. Is there anything specific you're looking for? Um, <sighs> Bill was just going to chime in here and just say, well, it was, a, it was a cask of the finest wine, and I know, like, all wine tasting is subjective, but... We really liked this one. As a group, we agreed it was better than the the other wine. Um, so I think American would quite like to take a look at, at this very fine, now empty cask. Um, Possibly the finest wine. <laughs> you get it, Bill. You'll help me, right? Uh, I'm mm -hmm. just having a quick look. One second. Um... <laughs> So okay. I'm not expecting to find anything. Um, D Danica says, oh, well, we've got the one barrel uh, that you've emptied tonight, and then we've got another six barrels, uh, empty casks out the back. Is there, uh, of this specific type? Um, oh, yeah. Is there anything you're specifically looking for? No idea. So how will you know what you're, what you're looking for? No idea. We'll know it when we see it. Uh, you're welcome to, um, you're Thank welcome you. to take a look at that. Okay, show, show us where they are. Uh, Very kind. Um, okay, uh, and she, she calls out, um, for a, a name, uh, Brom. She just calls out, Brom, Brom, can you come 
to mum, please? And uh, this little kid who you sort of notice sort of in the, it's wiping down some tables earlier in the night, just a little kid, um, comes running over and um, she says, uh, this might sound weird, but can you show, now you don't mind if I only take, allow one of you back there. I mean, is that going to be okay? Of course. I know it's a strange request. Uh, okay, so, um, Mirikin, why don't you take... Uh, Brom, why don't you go with um, Mirikin and, and show her the, the barrels in, in the back? Um, and Brom sort of, like, says, Okay, Mum! And, and grabs Mirikin's hand um, and sort of leads you towards this door uh, on the northern wall. Um, I'm just going to move some of these other tokens out of the way because I don't want them in there. Um, okay. I'm just going to send a message into Mirikin's head. Uh, so that she can reply instantaneously as she heads away and say, mm. uh, let us know if there's any trouble. Yes. Cool. Um, American, you head north through this door and you enter, uh, like, Brom's just leading you, this little kid's leading you through into this kitchen. Um, and it just, it's, it's just a kitchen. It looks like, um, it looks like it belongs to someone who just loves to cook. It's got piles of pots, walls lined with utensils and shelves of ingredients and just all manner of pleasant odours. There's two little lanterns hung above a sturdy pine work table in the middle of this clutter and a pot of soup um, is, is well, it was obviously uh, full probably a couple of hours ago but it's getting pretty low now and the, and the flame underneath has been turned off. Um, and just to the south wall there's another door and Brom uh, leads you down into this room which is obviously just like a, a wine storage. Uh, this hallway, uh, you can see there's a bunch of barrels next to you in this um, little alcove. And further down, you can see um, some curtains, which if, you can, if you're getting your bearings right, on the other side is probably the three barrels that you were drinking from earlier in the night. Um, and on the far wall, some doors that you can only assume lead out um, outside. Uh, but to, to your left, there's like 15 barrels. Um, and uh, on these barrels, it uh, looks like nine of them uh, have have the uh, purple grape mash number three written, like burned into the sides of these barrels with the Wizards of uh, Wine winery also emblazoned on them. Um, and you can look through and you can also see that there are maybe six barrels of red dragon crush in there as well, which is the more expensive one. Mm. If only I knew what I was looking for. Yeah, I mean, let's let's say I think the little kid sort of says, "What are you, what are you even looking for?" Um, and he just kind of gives one of these barrels a kick. It's like, is it something on the outside? Something on the inside? What are you looking for? I don't know. Anything strange, really? I don't know. Uh, and this kid's face lights up, and he's like, "Something strange." Okay, cool. And he's he's like getting into the corners you help me. he's getting into the corners and around these barrels and he's like searching the sides of them and knocking on them to just see if they sound empty and just giving what he can like a little shake um and you can sort of follow suit i guess if you want to yeah should i roll investigation or yeah give me an investigation well, roll. i guess perce- uh, it would be investigation give me yeah. an investigation roll. does him helping me give me advantage sure okay please what have I rolled? Ooh, quite bad. I rolled 11. Okay, with a roll of 11, it takes you about 10 minutes to get through um, all of these barrels. You shoot um, Bill and Mrs. back, you know, there's, that there's no trouble. So he's not going to freak out. Um, and you, you just you just find nothing. There's nothing different about any of these barrels. They all look and feel exactly the same as each other, no matter what wine was put inside it. They're all quite immaculately made as well. They're pretty well made. Um, but you're not hearing anything, you're not seeing anything, nothing looks out of the ordinary. And I, would, uh, I wouldn't hesitate to say that if you look for another hour, you would you just, you'd not find a thing. I look for two hours. <laughs> um, at least I'll become, I'm familiar with these barrels then, so if I ever need to locate one, I will know exactly what I want. Yeah, I mean, I'd say even in that investigation, you sort of rush down, um, part that curtain as well. And just give that barrel that was um, you were drinking from a bit of the same, that sort of inspection. And, and Bill just sees that curtain behind the barrel open up and sees you uh, fidgeting around with the barrel as well. Hi, Bill! <laughs> I haven't found anything, Bill! Yeah. I'm going to leave now. Yeah. Um, and so, Thank you, Brom. Yeah, and Brom takes you back into the room and says, 
I did what you asked, Mum. I'm off to bed. Bye. And just runs out of the room. <laughs> runs up the stairs uh, onto the other, uh, the back of the room and up the balcony. Well, I didn't find anything, but, uh, well, maybe it will reveal itself in time. Did you um, also check the barrel behind the bar, or? Well, that's just... when I was waving it to you. Right. <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah, good to know. Yeah. <laughs> I think we're I on the case though, right? We're like it could be at this winery, I think. I'm yeah. a wine sleuth now. Yeah. I'm locked on. Mm. Okay. Well do uh, you I'm did you guys to want to call it a night? <laughs> yeah. Yep, okay, good. Yes. So um Danica gives you one more room key um and says this um there's only two more beds, but three more of you. So um I, I can go and get some more blankets if need be and uh, crash on the floor, unfortunately, but uh, it looks like just going, we only had eight left. Um, Bill just places his palm out, lays his hand on top of it, motioning for a rock, paper, scissors, jewel. <laughs> <laughs> American, who, or Shannon, who's taking up that... <laughs> I can sleep on a table or something. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> All right. Bye. Like, I'm chivalrous, just... Bill. Um, I thought finishing. you were offering, Bill, but no. <laughs> Who's sharing the room with them? Um, you Bill? don't even sleep. You meditate. <laughs> <laughs> I like to meditate in comfort, Bill. I thought you were going to say bitch. Right. But okay. Bitch. <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm not that drunk. Oh, fair, fair enough. Uh, all right, so Bill, you've got the key. Danica hands you the key um, and says it's uh, upstairs, points up, up the balcony. Um, it's just the second door on the left. Um, just before I go, hey, uh, Baron, don't get into any trouble. We just got I'm here. Coming, I'm coming with you. I'm, oh, right, um, you're going to sleep on the floor. Yeah, I'm just bringing my four glasses of wine. I'm just sort of pulling <laughs> it down and going up the stairs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm used to sleep. I've got a bedroll in my backpack. <laughs> dude, um, they've probably got a carafe. Do you want me to get you a carafe? No, that's fine. Don't worry about me. I've got four glasses already. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I just feel like there's a vessel that would be better suited to They're not going to last for long, Bill. <laughs> all right. um, I'm just going to move you guys all upstairs onto the balcony upstairs. Um, you guys make your way outside. American, where's your token? I put it somewhere. There it is. Um, you guys make your way outside. You see the stairs that she was mentioning and, and um, head upstairs. And at the as you make your way up, you open up the door. You see um, Morley sitting uh, in front of this door at the far end of the hallway. And he's just sitting on the ground, leaning up against the door at this point. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you guys deal with that however you'd like. Who's American? You you're at the front of the. Yeah, you're at the front there. What are you doing on the floor there? Morley was just starting to uh, doze off a little bit. American, I, I'm standing guard, American. Can't be too careful around here, can you? Oh, that's very good. There's actually uh, a spare bed in there. Hmm. I. Well, I think it's appropriate for myself to take this this room. Uh, I'm going to head into the... I'm assuming he's in front of... I've assumed it's Irina's door with the children. Yeah, he has just mentioned that there's a spare bed in there if you'd want it. Yes, gonna... I'll take it. I think it's appropriate. Okay, cool. All right, I, I, and I, I knock on the door. Only me, Mirikin's coming in. And then uh, I get the key out from my coat pocket, unlock the door... And uh, kind of look away as as American I'm, enters. I'm very impressed, and I'm going to nod my approval. Okay, right, cool. And you walk past Morley, and you see um, a, a spare bed closest to the door. Uh, Irina um, sort of sleepily opens her eyes as you enter, uh, and and sort of just gives you a smile. And you can see the two kids um, fast asleep. The young girl tucked in, but the young boy is just spread out on top of the covers. <laughs> Just fast asleep. <laughs> uh. Cool. Uh, and so that leaves. Uh, there's another door next to Morley, 
which has a couple of beds in it as well. Uh, Bill, you've got the key to that door. Um, seeing Morley open that one, I just kind of point to that door and just be like, I think I need to squeeze past, sorry, Morley. Um, like looking at the room tag and looking at the markings on the door. Sorry, can I just get past you? Um, then I unlock it and I go in. Um, and just motion to Baron. Uh, I'm going to take the one with the foot locker. Oh, they both got foot they're lockers. Both, yeah, they've all got foot lockers. <laughs> nice. They've all got little. Um, they've all got like little drawers and stuff as well. If you wanted to place your stuff in drawers, oh, if you're staying, nice. if you're staying a little longer. Uh, I'm going to motion to Bill. To, you just go on without me. And I'm just going to um, roll out my bed roll just near um, in front of Morley there. <laughs> so I'll keep you company. I'm going to sleep on the floor. Okay. You, don't, you don't snore, do you? No. <laughs> all right then. I've never heard myself snore. <laughs> Here's a word for it, Barry. <laughs> do I do I see this happening? Uh, I don't know. Did you did you go in and leave the door? Because you opened the door and were beckoning him in. So yeah, I opened the, the door and I was like motioning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, I, I said, don't worry about it. I, I'm not going to stay out here. Yeah, yeah. So you've just got the room to yourself at the moment, Bill. Okay. I think if I know that the Baron's going to sleep outside, I'm just you're just going to hear from the rumor. As I'm pushing the two beds together, oh, and it's a double, a double bed her. for for me to just enjoy. Okay, yeah, that's good. Wow. <laughs> all right, so you guys are all tucked in at the at the Blue Water Inn, um, tucked up and cozy, yeah, except no, Baron and I. Who except are on the you guys floor. on the floor. <laughs> By choice. Uh, yeah, I'm by very choice. cozy. Here is a spare bed. We can jump in with Bill, I guess. Um, Top so and tail. You guys get Maybe your first full night's rest. In, oh. it's, I mean, it's, it's only been a day, but it feels like the day you have had started uh, at the Vistani camp outside Barovia. Um, there was an encounter, a pretty intense encounter with Strad on the road towards Velaki. There was... Uh, the windmill, which some of you did not want to venture into, uh, but got roped into going into, where there was one hell of an <laughs> encounter. You were turned into frogs. Time passed, and you had to escape. Um, a, that ended in a massive confrontation with three hags that were so amazingly powerful, yet you managed to, to push through. Um, you burnt their bodies, destroyed their bodies, and got back on the road. Um, only to be chased down by 12 uh, just hungry wolves looking for blood. Um, and it wasn't until well past uh, 8 o'clock with the gates of Velaki closed that you arrived, managed to convince them to let you in, um, and spent what felt like an amazingly relaxing three or four hours inside this bar. Uh, and you all just reflect on the day as, as you all just um, fall asleep. Um, let's turn off some of the sound while you're sleeping because we'll make sure you get a good peaceful night's sleep um, Mirican, you in, in your sleep um, you see a really strange vision that you can't quite explain um, when you wake up you have this memory of a dream and it's such a strange dream it is these ravens that you've been seeing everywhere um everywhere that you've been seeing these ravens you see this silhouette of a raven you've got this picture in your mind of this raven uh and you're concentrating and concentrating on it um and when it turns its head to you with its, its beak um its face looks familiar it looks almost like danica's face yeah. um and as soon as you see the detail of danica's face uh, you wake, and it's morning. Um, How strange. Yeah. Uh, and the rest of you, you've all recovered your hit points, um, or your spell slots. Thank goodness for that. <laughs> yeah, Loris, you're oh. being beaten up at the end. I was far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, yeah, you're all, you're all feeling great. Um, I think 
you might have slept even probably a little longer than eight hours. It's probably like this. I say the sun's up, but just like Barovia, um, like the village of Barovia, it's still quite dark in this um, this village, in this town. You look out the windows and um, there's a lot of hustle and bustle on the streets outside. Um, but again, it's that real overcast look. And you're seeing sort of the um, Velaki in day, daylight for the first time. Uh, and the place does not look half as run down as Barovia. Uh, you mm -hmm. might have noticed that a little bit last time, but it seems way more apparent this time um, now that there's a bit more light. Um, and you'll wake up and you can you, you wake to the sound of um, uh, the kids, or I think Murican, um, the face turning to you in your dreams is almost like uh, perfectly timed with a scream of one of the kids as they're sort of like <laughs> play fighting. And um, I actually rolled my D4 before we started and it came out as a four, which means I am summer season. Yeah, okay. Which I, means I, I see this morning. <laughs> I think you, you sit up, you, you sit up and look at the kids and, and they just are stop, they stopped and they're just looking at you and they're just like, what happened to your hair? Says like the, <laughs> the boy. I want to do that dramatic thing where when you wake up from a dream in a movie, you just bolt upright and you're just like, <gasps> yeah, like just to be dramatic. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Uh, and you and you you are met with just like a, the boy at the end of the bed is going, "What happened to your hair, miss?" <laughs> Changes. <laughs> Shouldn't ask too many questions, boy. Okay. Feisty. Fine. <laughs> I guess the kid <laughs> sulks and walks away. No, um, he's like, can I, can I touch it? It looks great. You can touch it. And I think Don't both, be rough now. Both of the kids kind of just come running over to you and they're just like touching here. And the little girl goes, is my hair going to change when I get older too? <laughs> <laughs> perhaps, perhaps. Um, I'm, not, I'm not like being mean to the kid. Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Just kind of abrupt. Um, and Irina sort of um, sort of hurries the kids over and, and she's sort of detailing a little bit about, you know, in this world, there are a lot of different people and some of these people uh, don't come from here and they're, they're quite different in different ways. And she starts sort of telling them about um, elves and half elves and, and um, Goliaths and, just and these kids are just soaking it up. They are loving it. Um, and I think eventually you guys will make your way out uh, onto the, the balcony, unless there's something else you guys want to be doing uh, in your rooms or as you wake up. No. Nope. I did. Ro I rolled a 12. So I'm, a, I'm just going to say I didn't really snore. Okay. <laughs> 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 um, I am going to roll a D20 for Ismark. Um, actually, is it D20? I'm just going to roll oh, a D20. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to roll a constitution throw for... Good morning. I've drunk a whole lot of good wine. It's got to evacuate itself somehow. <laughs> um, it was actually to see how hungover he was. And he's not, actually. He's rolled a 17. <laughs> um, it's quality oh, wine. I ain't it's kind of like yeah, so he's, he's actually feeling okay. He definitely drunk more than most of you. I think I might get a constitution roll out of um, the Baron as well, though. Sure. <laughs> Those last four glasses probably... Um, if you don't mind, Loris, I'm not going to get you to roll because what? you rolled like a nat 20 the last time you drank. And I think in my head, that solidified you as like, this This is just, this isn't a Goliath alcohol. This is, you can handle much worse. Um, 21. That was a nat 20 as well, Shannon. That's fantastic. <laughs> okay, I mean, you, yeah, this is this was um, all of your... Um, I was going to say substance abuse, but I guess substance abuse has paid off. This is, you're feeling just fine. You're feeling That's what I read into the situation. <laughs> All the substance abuse has paid off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going for okay. drink, just kids. like in real life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Needed my vitamin wine. <laughs> um, and you look down, you guys, um, both Baron and, and Morty, you look down over the edge of the balcony and there's no, there's no one down there. It doesn't look like the place is open. There's no one behind the counter. Um, there's no movement, there's no nothing. All the chairs any are other, up on, on the tables. and Any other patrons yeah. around coming out of rooms in the morning? Like... No, it looks like you guys had uh, all the rooms on this part of the um, establishment, uh, and you don't really know 
what belongs to the other rooms, but no one's coming or going out of those. All right. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be like pacing back and forth and just kind of talking to anyone who will listen and be like, and listen, I had this weird dream. It was, it was about a raven and it turned around and then it had uh, that bar lady's face on it. What could that mean? Is it a psychic thing? Is she connected to the ravens maybe i don't know but it was pretty weird and uh, she uh, she's a part of an organization something something raven organized and maybe that's connected isn't it what organization is she in (laughs) (laughs) something something raven organization Oh, we don't know, though, do we? We'll figure it out, though. We'll get to the bottom of this. I'll tell you I'm amped up. I'm ready to go. We'll investigate that wine. We're going to save the children. We're going to help get away from the Strad guy. American. He was a very bright American. (laughs) Did someone put something in your water this morning, American? Just Um, woke up feeling ready for action. What can I tell you? Yeah. Well, I've, I've been noticing the Ravens as well. When I walked into this place... I got a bad feeling from them. Exactly. Them everywhere. And you know what? I don't think it's a coincidence that the castle was called Raven Loft. <laughs> so I am onto these as well. I need a little sound clip that just goes. Dun, dun, dun. Raven <laughs> um, Adam, Loft. Morley. Raven Loft. Morley's just going to kind of tossle the, the hair of the, the children. Hope everyone slept all right. And then, on an Irina. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> Um, <laughs> salty sea dog. <laughs> uh, and she says, "Morning, Morley. The kids and I slept fantastically. Thank you so much. Um, and thank you for staying guard. It's Not a, a problem. It's appreciated." Um, uh, what was I going to play? Oh yeah. So, um, Baron, I think you notice that there's a little note attached to the um, the door, the in the doorway in that you took uh, last night. There's a, it looks to be written by Danica. Um, and she, it's just a little hand scrawled note that says, uh, if you don't see me in the morning, um, the church is just west of here. It's not signposted, but if you head west, you'll see it. Um, hope you guys okay. had a great night, Danica. Thank you, Danica. Yeah. Okay. To the west. Shall we... Um, go west. We, yeah. <laughs> Let's go west. <laughs> no. Um, yeah, let's... <laughs> Well, it's still sunny. Yeah, ish. We should get her uh, to safety, I guess. What do you yeah. guys think? Um, I think we should uh, find somewhere for the children first. Well, we could do kill two oh. birds with one stone. Maybe the kill two birds. Just stay at the kill Abbey? two ravens. Big it's raven. all coming together, isn't it? Oh. American, do you <laughs> want to this sit crack in the back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe American wants uh, to sit in the back of the carriage in, in some secluded place <laughs> so she can just be with her thoughts. Because <laughs> she's freaking me I'm out. Gonna, I'm just going to whisper to Loris, do not mess with American right now. I think she's on a high. She's like, uh, four ravens, three barrels, seven, seven. What's the seven? <laughs> if I add that together, subtract that, divide that by how many ravens did we see last night? <laughs> You're right, Storm Striker. <laughs> Um, yeah, Stormstrike. Is, is, Ismark did hear um, what you were saying, Bill, and, and, and Ismark says, well, you know, Danica did mention that maybe Father Lucian uh, could look after them as well, so mm. maybe. I uh, I propose we go and have a quick chat to Father Lucian, mm-hmm. um, possibly see if he is able to look after the children, at least for today, while we go out into, you know, let's face it, unknown countryside. Um, and try to get to the bottom of this wine mystery. I'm with exactly you. Right. I agree. Let's, do it. Let's go. Let's do it. Um, we do that. Yeah. <laughs> Is it safe to have American controlling the horses? Are you Are you even going to take the horses? Or are you just going to stroll through uh, the town? We're going to walk through town. Can stroll. we see the church spires from here? Uh, let's put you onto the map. Let's put you onto the town of Alaki, and we'll sort of that'll help me figure out exactly what you can and can't see as well. Um, yeah, it's a bit of it's a decent sized place. This one, it's a big size. Yeah, you, you guys all head out, um, and the horses are basically in the same place with the carriage uh, as they were uh, when you left them last night, which is great. You're kind of at an intersection, and, and you're looking off to the west, and you can there's a lot of houses. Um, 
between where you currently are and and you see just off in the distance uh, at the, the 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 steeple of a, of a church just off of, off like to the bell west. Towers. Yeah, uh, and you, um, you yeah you pull out the map as well just to sort of take a look at where you could be, um, and and yeah there looks to be something that might, that looks like maybe a building with a graveyard uh, on the map as well. Surely we should just take the horses so the kids can sit in the back and have breakfast and and relax and not wear their tired little legs. Makes sense to me. Oh, we've got to tire them out, otherwise they're going <laughs> to... It's not, not going to be our problem, it's going to be Father Lucerne's issue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Once we, we leave them, to them, you're not our problem anymore. Yeah, babysitter's problem. Um, I'd, like, I'd like to walk the streets of Valaki, get to yeah. know it on the ground level, see if there's anything going on, see if there's any mysteries to unravel. I'm off! <laughs> and this is the closest thing I've had to a holiday in ages. And I think I think like American is like <laughs> double stepping it as well. She is like I'm walking like those Olympic walkers. No. Oh Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Superman. Super yeah, I'm just like. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think one Someone of the th- clip that. The- <laughs> <laughs> um but again if you're comparing this town to barovia and when there where there was like no one on the streets almost your entire time in barovia um there's just there's kind of people uh everywhere uh in valaki so let's just give some give a little bit of sound of valaki here um people are walking past and they're talking to each other and uh you know they're taking their kids into the uh, obviously it looks like they're taking them south of where you're currently, or south of the uh, the tavern. There's a little signpost that sort of says city or village centre, and a lot of people are heading towards that at the moment. Bill, um, I'm ashamed to say this, but where is Scallywag? <laughs> That's a good oh, point. No. At this point, I'm ashamed to say that. I didn't say that earlier. Sca- That's what I'm ashamed about. Don't you remember Morley made sure that he was all snug and safe in the uh, carriage before he went to bed? I, uh, isn't that right? Adam, that's that's exactly what I did. I bought him some of the um, a dog's favourite food, <laughs> boiled vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the meat and gravy. Okay, good, nice. Uh, meat and gravy He's for like... humans, boiled vegetables for dogs. If and I know cows. dogs, then I do. Yeah. They yeah. love boiled vegetables the most. <laughs> yeah, you open, um, Bill, you open up the carriage door and Scallywag just jumps down, like gingerly. He's small, so even the step out of, like, the carriage to the step and then the step to the ground is a bit of a mission for him. He sort of makes his way down. But as soon as he gets to the ground, he's just running happily around all of your feet. And the kids are so happy to see Scallywag again. And they're kind of just playing with him. Um, um, Bill, I think one of the things you notice is um, the there's quite a lot in this part of the town on some of the houses and especially outside this tavern now you're looking there are these um like little posters or little posted proclamations and you you look at one of them you sort of walk up to it and you take a look at it and it says come one come all to the greatest celebration of the year the wolf's head jamboree attendance and children required pikes will be provided all will be well. All will be well is in caps with an exclamation point. And uh, it's signed underneath with the Baron. Oh. Um, a jamboree. You know anything about oh. this Baron? <laughs> <laughs> Brian, you've be, been busy. Must have been bad. I can't believe you made a jamboree. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you, required. you do remember that. Um, <laughs> I hate that. When you first made your way to Valaki, there were a bunch of wolf's heads on pikes outside. Yeah. Greg, who you met, the town guard, did mention that they just had a, um, a festival the week, like a few days ago. Um, so it looks like these might be like leftover proclamations, uh, de- basically demanding uh, attendance. Oh, the Baron, but is he also... Hmm, I'm just wondering if it's a burgomaster and a Baron... Can you be both? They've got a baron and a burgomaster. Mm. You should know. You're a baron. Yeah, you're a baron. <laughs> but if I became a burgomaster, I would still be a baron. Exactly. So it could be. Exactly. It could be both. Yeah. So yeah, I think baron. You know that you could be both. You could be appointed the burgomaster while also being a baron. Yep. Yeah. I don't um, want to anyway. speak out of turn here, but, but according to. to our lovely barmaid Danica. She seemed to be hinting that she wasn't 
the biggest fan of the governance here, perhaps a little totalitarian. Mm. Okay, Joe, uh, Attendance um, required American, for a jamboree. American, how, how loud are you talking right now? Are you talking as loudly as you are talking? Yeah, I'm, yes. just, I'm just brazenly just chatting out loud at the top of yeah. my voice. Okay, oh, no. truth to power, well, American. We're going to piss people off. Um, you... Only ones that deserve to be pissed off. <laughs> um, the moment you say that, someone walking past just gasps. Absolutely gasps in horror at what you've just said. Um, and it's, it's a woman with her kid. And she, she quickly just like puts her hands over the, the um, kid's ears and, and sort of just whispers, What do you think you're doing? If you just if you keep this up, I don't want to be here. If you're going to be talking about that kind of stuff, you'll get me in trouble as well. And she just hurries off with the kid. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to zip it, right, and I'm just going to pull very intense eyes at everyone, like, "Oh, what did I tell you?" Yeah, <laughs> I I like the sound of this broken mastery. Sounds like he knows what he's doing. Morley says quite loudly. Um, yes, I love the sound of a compulsory jamboree. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, American. Let's get these kids to the uh, to the chapel, shall we? <laughs> Looking at these signs, we're just going to get ourselves into trouble. <laughs> There's definitely something up with this, though, isn't there? Mm. Yes. Um, and you make <laughs> you make your way down uh, off to the west, and and you're seeing these proclamations like all over the place. There's Just like it's, it's almost it's almost crazy how many there are. They're really obviously trying to make sure everybody in the city knew about this uh, the Wolf's Head Jamboree. It's an important jamboree, clearly. I mean, clearly. Is there? Um, what I'm going to try to do is if there's like a uh, I don't know like an alley or a place mm. where we can all kind of peel off and have like a really quick private conversation. I'm gonna try to uh, see if I can get people, get the the party and everybody to. Yeah, uh, yeah, come certainly. With. Um, a, like a cone of silence. Yeah, a couple of. Oh, yeah, mm. I mean, you're welcome to if, if you want some privacy. But yeah, a couple of um, uh, minutes walk down off to the west. Uh, there is like a small side alley on your right. Um, this is still very much like a rural town. Like it's like grass and, and dirt paths and stuff. It's not like cobblestones and stuff like that. Um, and so you find uh, a little pathway that heads in between a few buildings, but there doesn't seem to be many people around this part of the city at this point. I'm just going to call out, Psst, hey, uh, everybody. Yeah? What? Um, it's a bit. Let's look left and right. Um, I, we don't really know this place, uh, and I think it's very clear something's going on here, but I do have to say that feels a lot safer than Barovia, so there are clearly some things that they're doing right, I, I just suggest we try our best to blend in until we understand what's going on. And yeah, we might we might need to change things, but let's just try to not uh, get ourselves in trouble before we absolutely have to. Hmm. I, I, I don't do blending very well, but I, I, I can behave. I'm going to say, sorry I talked too loud before. <laughs> just quite loudly, though. <laughs> Shh. That's a gap, really. Yeah. Tuck my hood like... down around my, my face a bit. <laughs> let's let's understand what's going on before we before we pass any judgment and No, I'm already passing judgment. But um <laughs> before we let anyone know that we're passing judgment. Yeah. I'll keep my skills mm. straight. Keep it ourselves. Yeah. 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 Uh, well, I... there's certainly nobody's locked up and mothers are not hiding their daughters kind of situation, so mm. That we know of. That we know of. That we know. That we know. Of. Is there any like? Is there a large police um, presence on the streets? You have seen some guards uh, walking through um, past you at points. They've given you a bit of a look, but you know they're not really paying you much mind. Have we seen Greg mm. and Jeff? 
No, I think they were on night oh. shift, so you haven't seen Greg oh. and Jeffrey. That's, that's a shame. Yeah. <laughs> 24 <That's> hour Greek. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, all of the guards may look the same if I was to bring up some more guards, but and they may even sound oh, the same. But so they're like the patrons; they all look identical. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Got it. Um, but yeah, no, you haven't seen Greg. You have seen some other guards walking around. Oh, uh, Morley. I'll grab a next kind of proclamation I see that's like kind of stapled or nailed to something. I'm gonna grab that off, and as we walk past sort of the the inhabitants i just want to kind of wave the wave the paper at one of them just kind of making conversation as we walk past and yeah okay uh, the, the wolf jamboree a good one was it um and you get so you've done that basically when you were talking there was one pretty nearby and you just tore it off and as you guys continued down to the church you walk past a uh, um two guys two two adult uh humans um that they're just sort of like conversing as on their way past you and you you lift it up and you're like and you say you know what you said um and they respond with uh i'll put up just a random face here uh, yes there's a great uh, great oh what a jamboree it was absolutely amazing and are, are, you, are you ready for the next uh, I'm sorry to have missed this one, and you, you, I'll be absolutely at the next one. Mark my words. Can't wait. When, when is the next one? Three days' time. We're all, all very excited for the festival of the blazing sun. I, hoo hoo, oh boy, <laughs> the blazing sun festival. I've heard so many good things. Um, like a stone uh, festival. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and they, 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 one of the guys says, well, I, I guess I'll see you there. Um, and they, see you there. And they just continue walking and like, you notice that like the smile drops off the, their face, like the moment they, they, they turn away from you. For continuity's sake, what was your name? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't. It what was, a great name. It was Ellen. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen and Ido, lovely to meet you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I'm going to say to the Baron, three days, another festival. How many festivals do they have around here? Yeah, is it just a coincidence or is it that regular? Uh, like as much months. regular as Isma. <laughs> <laughs> three days. Mm. And. It's mm-hmm. interesting that that coincides with how many days we've got until um, oh. he visits. <gasps> oh, till we see the S man. Yeah. Big S. <laughs> the big S. <laughs> the S well, word. What's Let's up see. with their uh, advertising then? Three days and they, they still got these ones up. Well, I haven't seen a single it post. Was, the, the festival was only last night. You know, you've got to give the townsfolk a chance to take down the signs. Oh, was it last night? Well, like before last, I don't yeah, know. It was a couple of nights ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we're having the festival of the week at this rate. <laughs> Blazing Sun Jamboree. So, that sounds exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, sure does. <laughs> uh, okay, well, I'm just going to put you guys back on the road as you make your way, continue towards the, uh, the church. Um, I need to get up some information about this church. <laughs> Are you guys um, doing anything on the way there? Anything you want to discuss? Or are you just making your way directly to this church now? You do see it. It's a lot closer now that you've, you've turned a little bit of a corner. And, um, just keep my eyes out for ravens, that's all. Keeping your, Give me a perception check. Perception? Okay. That's a plus zero. So I got a, uh, a seven. Okay. Um... I will. I hadn't thought about this, but now, now that you've got me thinking about it, I don't even know if I, I don't even know if a perception check. Now that I'm thinking about, it, I don't know if intelligence. I, if you're investigating, isn't it? Yeah, I think you're specifically looking for them. It's not just you know perceiving something happening. This is you investigating. So let's yeah, let's go for an investigation check instead. Right. Oh, it's like a plus seven for uh, so an eight plus seven. Yeah. Fifteen. Cool. Fifteen. Um, there's a couple of ravens that now you think about it they've just they've kind of been traveling rooftop to rooftop following you along your path um mm-hmm. and they're just they're just I'm, 
you, you, you look behind you and there, there's one on um, the house closest to you and another one maybe a house or two back. And they're just uh, just keeping an eye on, on you guys. I'm going to subtly nod towards our druid, Merian. I think we're being followed by ravens. I see them. I've got something prepared. Perhaps can we have a moment? <laughs> Better than that. Better than that. <laughs> Better than breadcrumbs? A spell. <laughs> a spell called Speak with Animals. I might be able to quiz to them at them? some point. Okay. I don't want to do it just yet. I think they If they're are watching scary. us, we don't want to play our hand, but it could come in handy. Mm hmm. Okay. Um. All right, well, you continue um, up this path towards the church. Uh, and you come up across just this big, slouching, centuries-old stone church uh, that has this bulging steeple in the back and walls lined with cracked stained-glass windows depicting just a bunch of pious saints. And off to the west is a fence of wrought iron enclosing this garden of gravestones uh, right next to the church. And there's just a thin mist that is sort of creeping through this, this graveyard and, and church area um and i will i think i've got a little map to put you guys on Ooh. um i'm just gonna see if there's anything else that i need to let you know no there's um it doesn't seem like there's a lot of foot traffic around this church at this point um and other than looking incredibly old it, it's not looking half as worn down as the one in barovia I was about to ask. Yeah, mm. yeah. It'll be ruins by the time we're done with it, guaranteed. <laughs> any any uh, demon spawn living in the basement of this one? <laughs> this I'm like just going to do a preemptive strike. If there is, we'll burn it down. <laughs> yeah. Preemptive <laughs> strike. <laughs> <laughs> we're not here to burn down the... the, um, the, the, the do I see any supportive here. pillars? I'm going to thorn whip them right out of there. <laughs> Um, I'll set it on fire first. Just so okay, we great. really fuck it up. This is the teamwork that I've dreamed of. <laughs> teamwork makes the dream work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, cool. So, yeah, you guys are currently standing outside this church. Looks Catholic. Right. What do you reckon? <laughs> all the saints. Yeah, tell us all about the religion of this church. <laughs> um, give me... I'm going to stride up to the door. Uh, I wonder if who's the most of likely to have any sort of information. You don't have a um, any I kind of religious I'm person. Real, I got a plus four on religion. Oh, well, you give us give us a That's religious uh, a religion check. Okay. I got a fifteen plus four, nineteen. Roll of a nineteen. Um, I believe uh, Ismark mentioned something about the Morning Lord and the. Uh, night mother i think it was mother mm. night mother night mm. um and having ha discussed this a little bit with him baron it looks like some of the uh stained glass windows depict what you can only assume is the morning lord um okay. and it looks like this could be um yeah it's, it's a church for the morning lord himself okay morning wood <laughs> Oh dear, the Church <laughs> of Morningwood <laughs> standing <laughs> high. Damn the patriarchy. Standing yeah. erect in the oh. <laughs> town. Well, I'm open from yeah. six to midnight. The bell tower. <laughs> I'm just going to point out to, to everyone that this is the Morning Lord's church, I reckon. Yeah. Yeah, it looks, pictures yeah, on the side. Good spotting, Baron. You must have been listening to him, uh, my description the other day. It's good. Yeah, it looks to be uh, the Morning Lord indeed. Pick that up on, just... along the way. <laughs> Tis the morning. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are all just Very standing up, outside the morning. church going, just like waving oh, your arms, just boy. going, so... Uh, <laughs> Let's go in. Okay. What are we doing? Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go in straight away. Mm -hmm. The old yeah. church. Okay. Do the doors look like they're just openable. Yeah, absolutely. Can we it's, just go straight yeah. in. Yeah, just big wooden no. doors. You don't have to make All a right. donation or anything. No. <laughs> um, I'm the gonna time get in there. Gets handed to the minute you're in. <laughs> yeah, let's I can't um, go in. I'll push you guys in. There we go. Yeah. Moving you all. I was blocked. 
Oh, this music. Ooh, holy. Look to be holy in here, I'm going to say. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't the know layout you... is very familiar. Uh, yeah. Yes, holy I color. may have borrowed uh, a map, is it, a tidied up map. Kind of, of, uh... It's kind of familiar that, that Loris is getting some nightmarish remembrances <laughs> of, of the room to his right. It's like, oh, you should um, not going in there. I'm t I don't think I have a token. This is definitely made of stone instead of being made of wood, though, eh? This is definitely made of stone. That's right. I'm yeah. I'm putting in just uh, Father Donovich's <laughs> token, but it's not okay. Father Donovich. It's someone else. I've okay. got a thing. Um, you see uh, inside um, just an old man. He's, he's kind of got uh, gray. He's balding with gray hair, and he's got like a uh, a religious coat over. And he says, well, "Welcome, welcome to Saint Andrews." Sorry, <laughs> let me get that one right. Uh, <laughs> he can't get his own church right dude how long have you been go here on. for go on go on you one early <laughs> fuck me uh, <laughs> welcome welcome to St. Andrew's church uh, Andrew St. Andrew Andrew okay look pass Good. right to the Andrew what's what's Andrew the patron <laughs> saint of father we're new here <laughs> That's what, such a weird thing why to are you asking me. <laughs> so that's legitimate. Yeah. legitimate. Have he's this is a very aggressive question for first. <laughs> like it's literally not, the first time. It's not even a nice to meet you and <laughs> just like <laughs> 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 um, Actually, it's not a Actually, uh, it's not a Catholic church, so we don't really do patrons. He's a saint. <laughs> Yeah, what, 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 he was they have different what? meanings of saints, I guess. <laughs> As I, they're, not, they're not Catholic or Christian, are they? They're what? morning law. Not a Catholic church. Jeez, that was what? a cop out. What? <laughs> no, that was legit. That was 100% legit. legit. You guys are bullying. It should be of uh, Does it conform of, to uh, your ravens. earthly religion? Yeah, right? geez, sorry. <laughs> be more open. How do you know Saint wasn't just his first name? Huh? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It's an honorific. It's like Mr. So, Ang Angrel. Angrel? Andrew. 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 Last name. Yeah. It sounds Andrew. like Andrew, but just said wrong. <laughs> what a lovely Saint building you've, you've got Andrew. here, Father. Your name, please. Lucian. <laughs> his name's Jesus Lucian. Is this correct? Lucian or Lucian. Um, we yeah. I, I, Sorry, I, I, I'm Father Lucian, and, and who might uh, who might you be? Uh, Captain Morley Van Morgan, Father, pleased to meet you. Well met, Captain. Well met. Who do who do we have? Who do we have here? He, he just sort of Hi. points to the rest of you. Hi, I'm Bill. Uh, I'm uh, I'm Ismark. This is my uh, sister. I can introduce myself, Ismark. I'm Irina. <laughs> uh, uh, well, hello, I'm Bruntail. Nice to meet you. You may mm. call me Lars. I'm gonna. Uh. I'm going to step forward and, and grab his hand and shake it warmly and say, American, oh, please no. meet you. <laughs> Roll a D6. <gasps> what are you doing? A D6. Do you remember the Here we type? go. Do I remember. remember. Oh, my God. I remember. Purpose, Needle lady. has blessed us. You crazy lady. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Why? Holy shit, no. Oh, look at him. And follow Oh my god, he had five there. hit points. <laughs> he wouldn't <laughs> have five. He had like Look one. at the DM's face. Do you know how You've many hit killed. points an NPC have? Not a lot. Is it 30? <laughs> no. Not a lot. Generally, not a lot. You've just I really, I really have to think. And it's 10 o'clock. That's the him. end of the uh, session. Um, <laughs> no, you can't leave it here. It is a good cliffhanger. It. Oh my no. god. Okay, so. For anyone who is ha, hasn't watched our previous sessions, Needle did show up, uh, I think, the last time we played, and we spun the wheel, uh, and there was a thing called tight grip, where oh, whoever American. shakes the hand of anybody else uh, oh. that deals at 1d6 worth of damage. And we've oh, dealt American. five damage. Why do I have to roll well on this one specific <laughs> scenario? <laughs> Oh, okay, so I've killed. So I'm now grab, a murderer. You grab Lucian's hand. Um, yes. And 
it's not a, it's not a tight grip it's not one of those grips that, like you're trying to crush his hand um you just hold on to his hand and he he just goes <gasps> and he drops down to his <laughs> knees as as he loses all strength he just loses all strength drops to his knees and is barely conscious on the ground in front of you and that's where we're going to end tonight american <laughs> what have you done you've killed the father in the name of the father it must okay. be allergic to hands <laughs> <laughs> that's it but um needle didn't actually tell us it would do damage did he, he just said be careful he said just be careful be careful yeah. when you shake someone's hand he yeah. said that like no. Yeah. There was no care there. there was I just wasn't careful. Hand. Just give him a um, rona. What do we have against you know, priests and churches? Like, uh, <laughs> Next time a character shakes a hand, roll 1d6 damage against you. Whose hand they shake? Oh, God, I'm a murderer wow. now. It's called firm grip. Um, what a way to start the but day. We, were we told that at all? Or did you, you just tell the players? No, um, he told Needle said to everybody that it was firm grip to and to, to be careful. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. We as players know it to damage. <laughs> this can it. this can go Fuck. numerous right. different ways. We were gonna, we were gonna leave our to right. the children here, and you just potentially killed the guy. And no, even no, if he's he alive, dies. he's not going to be very receptive to helping us. I don't think. <laughs> well, yeah, if he's not. dead, he probably won't even help us at all. But you can dig a grave in like five seconds. <laughs> so it's a mixed blessing. We can bury the evidence when oh, we no. just get rid of yeah. him ASAP. Yeah. I'm pretty sure he. Will. I'll just well, be like, I'm pretty sure healers. he was evil, guys. You're one welcome. Of the two healers could could heal him really quickly. Well, we'll, no, we'll see what the DM him. the DM decides. Yeah, weekend at because you guys don't know how much HP. <laughs> <laughs> we get at least here. You guys don't know how much HP this guy has. All you know that is is that he's been dropped to his knees. So Baron, if he dies, Baron can reanimate him. No one will be any of the wiser. It's fine. Yeah. Finally, a fresh one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He can be only so, mascot. That's Baron fine. reanimates him, and he's like, in the name of the father and of the son, breathe. Mm. <laughs> father. <Yeah. laughs> oh, um, Lord. That's so good. Wow. Wow. Yeah, oh, was, no. was, we go in there, say, what kind of saint is this place? <laughs> What's your name? Wow. Who's the saint? saint what? <laughs> <laughs> so Just after, I, I love this, after Bill's very carefully placed let's be careful let's behave let's not go <laughs> yeah 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 we walk into this priest we're like who the fuck are you what yeah. the fuck is this place well, <laughs> <don't worry. laughs> putting <laughs> words in wally's mouth wow. yeah. i walked fact, in he, he introduced the, the the church and he said this is the you know saint andrew mm-hmm. and i just was making conversation wanting to yeah. learn more about his religion yeah. <laughs> exactly Who's, Who's Andrew the saint of? It wasn't, who the fuck are you? <laughs> who the fuck are you doing? Yeah. This is the oh, sort of thing no. he would have pamphlets for. You know what he, he probably would have said? I'm so glad you asked. I'm so glad Thank you asked. Thank you. Yeah. Do you know, like, of, of all the prep I've done, I can't say that I expected... What's he the patron saint, patron saint of? Yeah, what have you been doing all week, man? Go pies, on. pies, <laughs> the patron saint of pies. Got a shit ass job of it. Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. Talk about um, making an impression. Uh, the foolish fool said, "Looks like he's the one going in the basement now." <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. We don't have to lose uh, track yeah. record with churches, do we? Really? No, no. Yeah. <laughs> We're, we're still not in weak holy places. Yeah. Um, one of them has we're, we're probably lucky we don't have a coward. <laughs> yeah. Great. I was just, well. I, pre- I psychically predicted he was about to do a crime. So <laughs> I'm glad I did it. So you honestly, his hand off. Honestly, this could be interesting. This could be very interesting. <laughs> now I have to live a week knowing yeah. that yeah. I may have killed a man by being friendly. Not just a man, a man of the cloth. A man of the a man cloth. Of the, yeah. <laughs> Who you were hoping could help you. Could have, yeah. Yeah. You guys are just like, well, us. Prisk it is, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No one next thought church, in here, next. Right? Yeah. 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 I'm sure that'll church. go well as well. We'll yeah. go Did to an even bigger coming? church. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. By the time we get to Prisk, our reputation of churches will have, will have arrived and they'll be like, nah, fuck off. You guys are not allowed in here. <laughs> in <laughs> we, we, we do not want your kind in our church. <laughs> no one oh, has yeah. to know. 
Mm. Well, this is the handshakers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The handshakers and the church burners. The raven told us all about <laughs> you. Uh, <laughs> what does his hand look like? Is this like a massive buzzer like you know, the Joker has? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, or does it no. like his hand look all crushed or red? Or... Uh, we'll, we'll, fi- we'll find oh, out. We'll find, find out. out. We'll find out. Yeah, his hand wow. is still in Merican's hand. What point. did it feel like for American? Just like a normal handshake, or just what? felt like a normal handshake for American. So it's plausible just sort of deniability. Like, yeah, <laughs> plausible. Like he's had a heart attack or something. I'm sorry, <laughs> you couldn't handle my normal handshake. Yeah. <laughs> or, 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 or apology. <laughs> um, I just realised there was a bunch of people who have followed who I haven't thanked. So I don't know if these guys are, uh, or girls are still watching, but uh, Jellowitch, thank you so much, Sunblighter um k3 kiwi or kiwi with a th- three that's oh, hard yeah. to say k3 iwi um three, three, three. P- pyrogian the rocks uh cannon fodder great game cannon fodder unless you're just talking about like a military term um alpha shrub uh guafa uh karate chimp tv spike thmid <laughs> i dot freddy the bat thank you guys uh so much for following us hope you enjoyed our session tonight i loved it it was nice it was so nice being back in curse of Strad. curse of the devil can't say Strad's name <laughs> in the lucky um, curse of the s word yeah um and obviously a massive thank you for um kalan uh dark law for just gifting out these subs and throwing the bits and the support that you're giving is, is fantastic but, but thanks to everybody who's who's um jumped on the sub tonight as well you guys are fantastic uh, Random Origin says, Cuck of the Devil. <laughs> Instead of Curse of Strahd, I guess. Um, <laughs> I like it. The Cuck of Strahd. That's, yeah. Yeah. Um, what do you guys think? This is nice being back in here. In, most the, in the world of yeah. Curse of Strahd, yeah. Yeah. For the most part. to be back. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I really enjoyed just the, the whole tavern. That was far longer than I was expecting it to be, but I really, really enjoyed it. It was. It didn't feel like a boring thing. It felt like legitimate, fun role play uh, in there. It was good. It also Amazing. didn't feel like it uh, was slow. You no, know, like it felt like all. we were doing we were doing yeah. a bunch of different stuff. Like sometimes when you're in one location and it's all social, you feel like, oh, I'm just not answer. I'm just not asking the right questions for us to move forward. But it felt like. Uh, this is happening and that's happening and uh we're talking about things and it felt like quite organic but mm. also moved things forward even if it wasn't like combat or like reaching a place yeah even even getting to the church was fun we had some really nice just nice natural role play where you guys got way i think it might just helped that you were really in a in a role play mindset from the tavern that it just continued out of it and down to the church as well it was awesome loved it great and people are saying really good role play session so foolish fool says love uh role play sessions no combat just good old-fashioned talking to each other uh miserable said rp is good for sure anyone can swing a sword so yeah you, some people loving it see for me okay oh you didn't love it okay no no i can't <laughs> swing a sword <laughs> <laughs> So I just got on record oh, now as being a massive buzzkill. I only, <laughs> I only like rolling dice. In. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Kiosti says American receives the roleplay award this night. Oh, thank you. Which is good. Nice. Yeah. America was very good. Yeah, was... Give me inspiration for murdering an old man. <laughs> what, what is everybody's inspiration? With... Who's got inspiration at this point in time? Uh, I used it on jumping as a frog. Okay, good, good. Do you, you, I think you gave me some, didn't you, DM? Uh, I have. I don't know if you've used it or yeah. if you've tracked it on D&D Beyond. Yeah, I've given myself a little, a little <laughs> bu- cool. buzzer, bump. Okay, perfect. So who doesn't have it at the moment? Because I don't want to be just giving out to people. So Loris doesn't have it, Bill doesn't have it. Yeah, okay, okay, good to know, good to know. I need to make sure. Um, yeah, I need to make sure. I, need, I make a note of that, actually. I might need to keep track of that myself. Um, I die so often that I tend to keep it for when I've died. <laughs> yeah. Um, Kalan said that drunk as Mark was pretty good. I like that. <laughs> 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 yeah, he was cool. What a... <laughs> um, I also really, really liked uh, Morley and the kids and Irina 
just yeah. in, the, in that, that was cool. bed scenario. Oh, I, was, I was wondering what Morley's angle was, and then it became painfully obvious. That's Wait, so, so so what I messaged... Surely, it was, it's it been well established that what know, Morley's angle it. was there. I <laughs> got it out of the game as well. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're just going to continue that roleplay. We, we started that bedroom uh, roleplay over text, and we're just going to keep that going. <laughs> All right. And then that will yeah, become next, canon, I guess. Next Monday, you won't invite any of us to join. It was just being <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, so what I what I messaged um, Adam during the break was when everyone goes to bed at the tavern, do you want the door to the room locked? So I was insinuating, are we assuming that he's like in there, just keeping there it? Were children in the I didn't room. Say though. Fucking, I didn't say fucking. I said just anyone. like. <laughs> like in there just you can be intimate just without find the physical. children in the hallway looking bewildered they've been locked out <laughs> they've been shooed out for three minutes yeah. <laughs> roll the d20 see how long <laughs> I won't need a d20 <laughs> <laughs> roll a d6 yeah so that was just and that was I liked um, I liked Adam's idea of and he, Adam's shown Irina protection what? from the get no not showing her anything else other than protection so far. the world like got, got the protection shining out of shimmering splendor oh. so yeah it was good it was really good i really liked that it was fun it didn't and it didn't feel and i hope it didn't for the viewers as well but i don't think it felt like we were holding up the game to do it no. you know what i mean you know sometimes it can feel like oh what is uh, you know we're just um doing something for the player but i was hoping that was for everyone to enjoy i really liked it Actually, it was quite nice to see Morley's chivalrous behavior and Bill was being quite, was almost not. It's like, yeah, I'm going to bed. See you later. Pushing his way through. Um, Dave, you had, um, you had Loris's moment with, uh, the apology in regards to his actions yeah, last time. Getting a moment to do that. I, was, I was sort of sitting there listening to the chat and it's like, how am I going to interrupt this time? Because they go blah, 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 like, Ooh. yeah. I thought it was yeah. good. Did you, what did you think of the response you got? It was what I expected. Yeah. I expected, um, because at, at the end of my, what I'd written, I, I had, I had the, la the last line, which I, I cut off was like, okay, you can yell at me now. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That would be okay as well. To get some abuse, but, um, I expected as Mark to be a bit more cautious about it. I'm just like, oh yeah, dude, yeah, you fucked up, but yeah. yeah. I'm really, really glad that you didn't like, so we had a chat afterwards um, and I think you were saying something like, uh, and I'm glad you didn't say, I'm glad you didn't say, which is like, Ismark needs to never like put a sword in oh, my yeah, face. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm I, just I, like, I, I'm I, glad, I'm glad you got rid of that one. That would have, that could have been worse. That was, that was written in there and I'm just like, oh yeah, I really don't need to test him off even more. I, but at the same time, I like, I wanted to make sure that uh, you all were aware that Ismark overreacted because there is that whole point now that he's going to try and be a better leader than his father was. And that was him going mm. too far, I think. In the, in well, the he, other is, he is a new um, burgomaster, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. And we need to cut him a bit of swag. He's yeah. inherited he was sort of <laughs> yeah. He was like overcompensating a little bit. Yeah. For, <laughs> yeah. Well, he had failed sort of to help in the past. Yeah. He, he I think knew... he feels a bit embarrassed by the situation that's unfolded in the town under yeah. his father's end now his watch yeah mm. yeah i i'm um it's really interesting because the ismark story is pretty light in the book so i'm this is something i'm really interested in and in seeing where it goes so yeah that's a maybe, really interesting could, character for me maybe we could introduce the idea of um a democratic voting process for um <laughs> Oh, uh, change the democracy or change the... It's going to be eight weeks of introducing MMP to Barovia. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> uh, who's Mad Mary going to vote for? We'll find out. <laughs> be mm. Too sad to hit the boots. <laughs> I, 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 do, uh, I mean, might, you have stolen the dog um, now as well. She might I run do want to say, like, the, some of the... On a, on, a, on a more serious note, some of the NPCs just have these epic character arcs, thanks to you, Reagan. Like they have such an interesting, like <clears throat> when you've got you've got because you've got massive constraints as a DM, right? Oh yeah. And you're you're working with you're not trying to like take limelight away from players, but you're trying to like 
make sure that it, it you know these characters feel quite real and i, I think about silda and um he he obviously became a fan favorite for us like we really liked him despite the fact that we're yeah mr mr passive aggressive ah, <laughs> um, but, but, but really fun right and then i i think i kind of feel like ismark um despite the toilet humor literally uh is, is also kind of building up that that sort of that that arc of like uh maybe i held my father in high esteem but there's a whole bunch of shit that went wrong with the town and like he's got quite a lot of mm. it's, there's quite a lot going on there uh, even even I don't know right now how long Ismark will be with you guys. I don't know. Mm. He's got a town that doesn't have a leader right now. It's interesting that he's also unintentionally sexist as well. And his <laughs> sister has to keep going, look, I can talk. I can, I can <laughs> do it. Yeah. 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 Do you know what that was? That was me catching myself. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. In, having Ismark <laughs> introduce Irina and being like, "No, what am I fucking doing? She's strong. What am I? No, I can't. Yeah, do, yeah. I can't do that." It's happened a few times. Yeah, it does, well. yeah. It's not the only time. Oh, yeah, but I. Yeah, it's I, quite good. But I can do it in character, and it makes someone else look sexist instead of me. So that's good because <laughs> I I resolve it. But I like I like Irina. I think she. I like having her being um quite strong. I was. I didn't want to say no to Adam in regards to looking after, like, staying. She can say no. Let's just be. <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> no, no. In, <laughs> in regards to you, like, keeping watch, because she's already asked you not to worry about that before. Um, but I didn't want to say no again to that. Like, it's still, you're well within your, you know, there are kids now. Um, so I don't know. I, I, it was more about not, not getting up in her grill. Yeah, um, in in sharing the room with her and the kids and, and giving them some space than it was about, you know, protecting at that point. Like yeah. It wasn't the right thing to do. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. That's cool. Um, I just got to make sure week. I maintain that she is actually a very, very strong and capable, like, uh, fighter as well. Um, she mm, can, is she? Well, she's, she's brought weapons she's along. She's, she's, brought, her, she's got weapons her, with her. Her portrait's much better now, I think. The new one, the one that you've I'm got using. now. Uh, yeah. This one. And the, yeah, I think it's cool. Hey. She doesn't have the big um, <laughs> collar. No, but, um, no. And the two small legs. That's what attracted me to her, the big tiny legs. leg man. That's written in his like, character sheet. Not much like, of a like leg man. Someone with small, stumpy legs. <laughs> yeah. Tiny leg man. You're, yeah, like, so you're, like, you're, like, you're, you're like, are you a leg man? A little. <laughs> Tiny little bell bottom. Uh, uh, we've had just a couple more fun as well. Girls make that <laughs> uh, Freddy the Bat and Draco Dante, thanks for giving us a follow. Uh, Yomu Hafizi has uh, given us 10 bits because they just wanted you to know, American, that smile. Oh, American, that smile. So that's uh, so we've had what we've, smile uh, your smile. <laughs> so Bill, we've had we've had John asked if he's got an Instagram, and we've got someone complimenting Joe's smile as well. We've got a lovely, oh, well, that's nice. got lovely fans. We've got absolutely fantastic fans. Um, foolish fool said, "Thirsty little, fans, thirsty, yeah, a little thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> they come in all sizes, yeah. but respectfully. Yeah, I mean that's that's a nice compliment. But if you fucking say that about my wife again, no, it's all right. <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, the foolish fool said, "At least uh, I'm wi- Reagan, wise enough to catch yourself. Some people are just assholes." Yeah, I think that that's um, that's it's an interesting like tro- like I even did it with the I did, wait I didn't do it with the kids I d- I was had to <laughs> had to stop myself from being sexist when it came to the kids as well because the girl was tucked away nicely in bed and the kid was and the boy <laughs> was all kind of like haphazard on top of the covers and as soon as i said that i was like i don't know why i did it in that order it could have been the young oh, you don't need to just... overthink it though oh, yeah no, I don't it's, know. it's healthy it's healthy I to, to, to overthink to it sometimes. Yeah. and uh i had to go to the school to take photos and there's all the boys were just being random fucking not paying attention <laughs> at all because they had to do this um they had to make these uh things and all the girls were making amazing things there's a reason oh, yeah. for this so it, it, the, the concentration it, it, levels were completely different so it was it rang yeah, true yeah that's in fair. that case anyway yeah. i mean it's not <laughs> the same for everyone but yeah i'm just we very, know we're a bit shit i'm just right? yeah. i'm just <laughs> yeah. i'm just very conscious i don't want to be like there's a lot of people that like D has a, pr- a pretty decent microscope on it 
at the microscope, t- the little thing, microscope. I, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's being, and it's being analyzed a lot. And, you know, you've got to do what you can do to make sure you're not sort of pushing the same sort of tropes everyone else does. I want to make sure that the characters I have are unique yeah. in their own way instead of just following. Yeah, the they're same all unique, tropes. isn't it? That's, that's interesting. How many, how many other D&D groups have someone who just needs to shit all the time? <laughs> you tell me. How many NPCs need to do that? It's not yeah. posted in the chat. Character. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's probably the deep we come many. for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to get at with him shaking his leg. I kind of like uh, assumed he'd like got a few drops on his pants or something. Yeah, I, I, Come I, on, I, gross. <laughs> drops of what? Drop, you know, like he's <laughs> just peeing <laughs> outside, you know. Why is he going for a pee? Well, my threes are for a. He can be going for, two. He can be. Well, you know, sometimes <laughs> he can do if, both. If I don't state, cable. if I don't state what he's doing, you guys are free to make it up. I don't mind, and it'll become <laughs> canon. Whatever you think he's done is what he has done. <laughs> okay. Like the I, okay. so the very first time he came out of the bathroom, saying "Ah, much better." Um, in my head, he'd just gone for a leak, but you guys were all like, huh? He's just taking a shit. What the fuck? So I'm like, all right, so he's taking a shit then. That's fine. Because well, I've never once gone for a slash and then come back out and announce to a group, oh, that feels much better. But you have when you've taken a shit. Have you done that? You've done that with the shit, though, clearly. Yeah. You I do it on airplanes. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think one of the things I enjoy the most about Ismark is is the little um, I don't know what you call them, but the little actions after he comes back from the bathroom, like the tum- the, the tummy tap or the shake of the leg. And I'm looking forward to the next creative way that Reagan lets us know for sure that something gross just happened. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe <laughs> Ace Ventura. Woo! <laughs> what was that, Dave? You were trying to say something. Oh, just uh, Ismark dropping bombs. It's like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's good. It's fun. It's fun. I like is there working plumbing in D and D? Is there plumbing? I think I. Mm, I don't know. Probably not. They might just, uh, just imagine dro- long drops or something. I have. Yeah. I have a. I have a weird thing to say about plumbing in D and D. Okay. <laughs> so I don't. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not a massive Harry Potter fan. I've watched some of the movies, um, but apparently recently jk rowling because she apparently she quite likes to retcon a bunch of stuff that happened in the books or in the movies um and she recently um i say recently it's probably like two years ago now um said or released this thing that toilets like muggle plumbing didn't exist at hogwarts oh God. until until later but it's because wizards would just like press the digitation it away right <laughs> And so, in in the in the canon of that world now, historically, a wizard would just pop a squat, I just do it in the pants, take take a shit, and magic it away. Just magic it as it comes out. <laughs> yes, it comes yeah, out. that that was the actual thing. <laughs> so that, that that's the that's the actual. Why canon. would you even? Why would you even make a statement about that? Some of her fans would have asked her about it. Yeah, they would have. Yeah, that's, that's the sort of people. I, that I just think, yeah, she's just got, she just can't help herself, and also like has such a. What did they do like, before they need for made, consistency? What did they? What would they do before they made that spell or figured out that spell? <laughs> just heaps of shit that. lying everywhere. That's, no, the first someone, spell you fig- that's the first spell you figure out, right? Spells are invented. <laughs> before not... you establish, before yeah. you establish a wizarding school, you're like, we're gonna do something about all this shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. What do you think oh. the big hats are for? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe they just always wore nappies or something. <laughs> that's, mm, that's what all the cloaks are, flowing cloaks to disguise them. <laughs> yeah. It's full of anyway, it, it, it cracked me because I was like. I was thinking like, oh man, I can totally see why people would press the digitation this stuff yeah. away. <laughs> yeah. Um, Garman yeah. said, not the worst statement that J.K. Rowling's made lately, and that's that's, that's a fair. She's point. come out with some real, yeah. real weird ones. Some real doozies. Uh, and Kalan Ducklow said, Joe, never look at Harry Potter fanfic. I don't think any of us should look at Harry Potter fanfic. <laughs> What movie? Oh no, there was something else. I'm trying. I was trying to think. There was some fanfic that got turned into like. Um, the Fifty Shades of Grey, right? That was originally fanfic of... Oh, Twilight. Twilight, that's the one. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, which is so weird. That's the weirdest thing. Fan, fan, fan fiction is 
almost always sexual. It's always you know? horny, yeah. yeah. Constantly. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's kind of the point of it. I'm it's... looking forward to the getting dicey. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Joe and I wrote unofficially some Duran and Loris fanfic. That was pretty fun. <laughs> oh, oh. Did you really? <laughs> no. We had a great night session of just talking, of t- talking up like um, Loris and Duran married on the apple orchard. <laughs> I I think it all started with my theory that perhaps the aggression was secretly a romantic kind of misunderstanding. You know how the sitcom characters they always like act like they hate each other, but actually there's pure lust underneath. So (laughs) I mean it writes itself. Duran was Duran was the top, Loris was the bottom. It was it was all written (laughs) out. Power bottom, power bottom, though. Power bottom, yeah. Come on. <laughs> Duran would come in with the apples. Can you crush these? That kind of stuff. Is... <laughs> this should be a, oh. like a, its own website. Really. <gasps> it's getting worse and worse. Come in with the cream eggs. <laughs> <laughs> Pop those out. <laughs> Uh, oh what was the 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 guy's statement Uh, they call me the Eggman of Fandolin (laughs) Uh, D-A-R-A and someone was just asking how we spell Duran we should have made a little Duran um, miniature as well actually that would have been good (laughs) he wasn't as um, involved no no he wasn't he wasn't Silda was the man I loved uh, I thought Silda was fantastic Silda was as passive aggressive (laughs) Yeah, he was so passive. They were guys, both massively no passive aggressive. No one's really being passive aggressive this campaign. Mm. Not as, not really. <laughs> as Mark mm. has, like, there's been some stuff in there. Not as, not as bad as as Tilda. His, his Mark right. gets quite passive aggressive sometimes. Yeah. yeah, not to the same level as Silda, <laughs> right? Silda was, no. a, Silda was, was a like high bar. everything. <laughs> He doesn't have to outdo something. No, 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 no. He's his, he's his own person. He's his own character. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Bill, oh, sorry, John. Um, just, just before we, uh, before the chat gets too far away, I just want to call out Kalan's joke, um, which was a character who shits all the time is pretty regular. <laughs> nice. Oh. nice. I enjoyed oh, that, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's. Right in my wheelhouse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Outhouse. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just having a look at like all my notes and stuff. I, this is the first time I actually had to prepare notes. Normally I just prepare and look over like all the little uh, pa- the pages that I need. Um, this time I actually had to make notes and actually plan what was going to happen in the day in Vilaki. So this mm. is, it's been fun. It's been fun. A bit more work than I'm that. just going to be worrying about that priest all week. And so you should. The handshake of a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, that was good. That was incredibly good. The death time? Yeah. We, Maybe we should... the last handshake you'll ever see. By the way, the foolish fool in the chat said, because uh, he asked how to spell Duran, um, and he said, okay, that is one letter away from his name. Oh, wow. Oh. Are we pronouncing, is your name Duran? If his name's Duran, I'm going to freak out. It's going to be so good. Because <laughs> yeah, that's Duran. We sometimes um, called him Darren, though. They're even pronouncing it the correct way. His name is Duran. We've got a Duran in the chat. This is fantastic. <laughs> How are How you like your knees, Duran? Sildar's knees. Sildar had the same knees. Duran, yeah. Duran yeah. uh, yeah. yeah. and Loris were not friends. Apple growing. <laughs> Which is why the that's you know that's why the fanfic came in. Yeah. <laughs> um, Lauren, not like <laughs> no, <Yeah>. no, <laughs> no, not not a good team those two. But that's right. We've got a much much better um, uh, synergy with the NPCs this time. I think just in, <laughs> in general. Yeah, uh, I tried my best to piss them off. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's all water under the bridge. It seems so. That's great. Um, so anyway, I think we'll call it there. It's ten thirty our time. Um, Bye.
No, uh, no way. <laughs> well, Here's the car. We can all drive off. Oh no, together. I'm not going to say. I'm going to say if you're not follow. I'm going to do it properly. I was just being cheeky. <laughs> um, if you've watched us tonight and you really like what you've seen, just give us a follow um, and join us in the Discord. Exclamation Discord will give you the link that you can use to come and chat to us. We're in there pretty much every day, so come say hi. Um, there are all of our previous sessions so you can see how we got to where we uh, currently are by looking us up on YouTube. It's just getting dicey. Um, or anywhere that you get podcasts. Uh, and if you want something to really, that you can show off to your friends about how cool we are, look at that. Joe made that one and it looks fantastic. There's a couple of, <laughs> there's a couple of shirts uh, for sale. That's a good car. Um, and I hope everyone enjoyed it. We've got the cars going now. Oh man, the door's even opened. How did you do that? <laughs> did, did you raise your... All right. Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, Joe, have you got your car ready? Because we're going to be here do at the I same... Do I have my car ready? Cars you use. At the same oh, time... You got the wrong car. Next time... <laughs> and that is a, yes, you got the wrong car. Look at you. <laughs> or is that the right car, John? That is very yeah. good. Are you, your mouth is even where the grill is. That's amazing. Is that red? I'm going to go I want that car. I want that car. I'm in the wrong car. Fuck. Okay, bye. Good night, everybody. <laughs> so we'll be here at the same time next time. A uh, big thank you to everyone who's watched tonight and just a ooh, sweet mmm of a <laughs> kiss, kisses. Ja, I'm tweaking my just For all of the subscribers we've got. So thank you so much, and we'll see you next week. Bye, everybody. <laughs> oh, boy. It's getting so much worse every time.